Hey everybody, welcome to Soloing the Ark. I'm Flinger Fu, and I have assembled a supercut from a previous series, a season that I really enjoyed. It started off with the first 10 episodes was a beginner's guide. It went on, it covered so many different things. Most of it, as a matter of fact, I think all of it is still relevant even in uh, current arc, but also it is, it's just a really fun time. And I thought it would be kind of cool to put it together in a big, huge, massive super cut that's, you know, went through the first 10 episodes. If you guys like it, I'll assemble more and then just see how that goes. Uh, the Just a word of warning, the mic quality is a little old. I was in an old previous office that didn't have the same sound buffer set up that I do nowadays. I um, had a system that was not nearly as good as the one that I have now, but yeah. All right, so hey, I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and also, I normally don't like to say this at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to. If you guys find yourself enjoying the video at any time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, and yeah, once again, enjoy the watch. And this right here, I love this screen. This screen never gets old. Ever. I love it. Alright, so now we're gonna see exactly how many times we can die, and how many times we can live, and just how far we can make it. Alright. So as soon as you load into the game, we'll, you'll do that little look around thing, which is pretty cool. I like that. But you want to take a look at your surroundings. You want to look around, see if there's any things with big, sharp, pointy teeth. If there's nothing with big, sharp, pointy teeth, you're fine. You can stand in one place. If there's a bunch of things with big, sharp, pointy teeth, you turn and you sprint the other way. Because <laughs> that's how you get away from things at this early of level. But I think we're fine. Yeah. We're fine. All right, so nothing's gonna come to you on our tender vittles. So now we're just going to walk up to the first tree and we're gonna punch it. Now by punching the tree, you're getting thatch and you're um, hopefully eventually we'll get some wood. There we go, there's a piece of wood. Now we're gonna open this up and then this little tab right here, engrams. Well, first off, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna level up. When you first level up, if you're on the island and you're, you're playing PVE, go wait. It's as simple as that. Just go wait. All right, for now, we're going to uh, go into the Engrams tab. See, once you level up, once you click that, here, once you click this button, it'll automatically take you to the Engrams tab. Now, if at any other times, after you're done leveling up and you want to get to the Engrams tab, I said Engrams, really, um, you go to right there, Engrams tab. And then for here, we're just going to learn the spear and the hatchet for now. And then we're going to close this up. And then we're going to open up our craftables. Open up your inventory and you go to crafting. You go to uh, weapons, primitive, melee. And then now we're going to find out what it takes for this. Now, it, in this right here, if you don't want to have these folders, you can turn off the folders by going like this, folder, folder view. And you just click that and then it turns us where all your engrams are displayed here. I like this one right here better, but as you get um, higher level and you have more and more to sift through, the folder option is pretty good. But at lower levels, this is more effective. So now we just need... Let's see. We need... Stone. So we're going to go grab some stone. Right here's one on the ground. We're going to pick that up. We're going to open this right back up. And then we're going to craft up a pick. And as soon as the pick is done, we're going to take the pick and put it right down here in our number one slot. And then from here, we're going to go down... And we're going to find a rock. I'm not sure. Some of these big rocks down here, you can't break. Um, some of the really, really big ones. Like this one right here. We can't break. So now we have to go find a rock that is a smaller rock. One that is actually destructible. One that is actually harvestable. So now we're going to head over here. And then over here, there is Mega Piranha in this waters. But there's also Dillos or Dilophosaurus around here on the shore, so we want to keep a very close eye out for that. And then as we're harvesting this stuff, occasionally you'll get what, right here, metal, resource. You want to save all of this as much as much as you get. You always want to save that stuff. And then from here, we've got 10 Ingram points, so I'm going to learn the cloth shirt, the cloth pants, and the campfire. We're going to need that. All right, so now I'm going to harvest a little bit more of this stuff. And I'm just going to get all the flint that this will give us. Because we're going to need all this stuff. We might end up having to repair our pick. But I will show you how to do that. 
All right, now that that is done, we're going to open back up the craftables. And then, see, now um, to craft the uh, shirt and the pants, we need fiber. Now, how do you get fiber, you ask? Well, I will, I will show you that here in just one second. Now, you walk up to any of these little bushes that are hanging around on the beach, and you just click your use button on it. All right, you see, we're gathering fiber, we're gra gathering berries, we're just grabbing all this good stuff. All right. And you will notice that while I am trying to be as close to the public servers as possible, I also have some of the gathering rates turned up because in order to do these episodes and do uh, the guides and stuff, I don't want it to take me hours and hours and hours. So everything, the difficulty of the dinos, everything like that is the exact same as the public servers so I can stay as relevant as possible to the public servers, but I have gathering, gathering rates turned up so where it won't take me a day and a half to record each of these episodes. So where I can get this stuff to you guys as fast as possible. All right, so now that we have all that stuff, we're going to craft a shirt and pants. All right, that's cool. You, you're automatically given the note. I like that. All right, we're going to get that. And then now that we have this, we're going to learn this stuff. And then we're also going to learn the thatch foundation. Oh, we don't have enough to learn thatch foundation. Now we have to go craft a hatchet. All right, so now um, to craft a hatchet, we need wood. So now we're going to take, well, we're going to equip this just by double clicking it. You can either double click it and equip it, or you can just drag it over, all right? On PC, you drag it over. On the Xbox and um, PS4, all you do is go to it, select it, and then you click it, and then it goes in there. All right, so now we're going to equip this pick again. We're going to go up here, and we're going to start beating this up until we get some wood. All right, we're just going to take that all the way down, all right? Go to the um, engraves tab, craft, craft us up that. And then while we're here, we're also going to craft us up a hat. Um, because this right here only takes fiber, like this and this, but this right here also takes hide. And you, the way you get hide is by harvesting animals that you find. Let's take that level. All right, and let's open this back up. And let's take this. I'm just going to put this down in the four slot. You can put it in whatever slot you want, but I'm using a mouse and I, that has buttons on the side. So... And one and four are the topmost ones. So they're the most easiest and convenient ones for me to get. All right, so now you'll notice that as you're playing this, your food and water start going down. Now, as we've been picking the berries, we've gathered a whole bunch of berries. You can just um, target, highlight these and you can use the use button. And you'll eat a whole bunch of those and see they will give you food from that. So we're just going to eat that whole stack. And then I'll just keep raising up until we get, uh, there was 40 some berries in there. Yeah, so we're just gonna get uh, about 40 some food from that. Pretty easy, pretty quick. And right now we don't need seeds, so I'm just gonna throw those on the ground. We don't need stem berries, so I'm gonna throw those on the ground. Everything else we're gonna keep for now, which is also why we've been uh, raising up the weight because we want to have the weight stat. All right, so now that we've got this hatchet, and now we're gonna go up we're going to harvest a few more trees because when you harvest a tree with a pick, you get primarily thatch. When you harvest a pick with a hatchet, you get primarily wood. All right. And it's like with these rocks, the same thing holds true. So um, if you wanted, say, if you wanted stone from these rocks, you harvest them with a hatchet and you'll get more stone. If you want more um, flint from these, you harvest them you harvest them with a pick, and you'll get more flint. See that? You still get stone, but you get more of that one resource. All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to craft us up some... We're going to craft us up some spears. And I'm just going to craft up three of these for now, because these spears, they break. And they will break on, at the most inopportune time that you possibly can. You'll be halfway dead, stabbing something... And it'll be, you only need to stab it one more time and your spear, your spear will break and you'll end up dying. So always have at least a couple of those in your inventory at all times or else you're going to end up dead. All right, now these dodos. And I, I talk about this in every single one of my beginner's guides, but I feel like I need to uh, cover this. Dodos that you find on the beaches and stuff like this, while they are good, you know, source of eggs later on in the game, right now we just need experience. So you are now officially the reason why the Dodos went extinct. Congratulations. Have a good day. Goodbye, Dodo. 
All right, now when you harvest a dodo, if you want hide, you, ha you harvest it with a hatchet, all right? If you want meat, you harvest it with a pick. The same goes for all dinos that you harvest in this game. So remember that. Meat, pick, hide, hatchet. All right. So I'm, I want as much hide as I can get off this guy so I can finish up my armor. So now that we have that, I'm going to craft that and craft that. And I'm going to take this level and take that weight up to 150. Open back up my inventory. Collect, um, equip these boots, these gloves. We got a full suit. We're doing pretty well. All right, doing pretty well. All right, and you'll notice that everything in this game poops, even you. Yes. Even you. You do poop all the time. In your house, even. It's a thing. Get used to it. All right. So, yeah, and this poop can be harvested later on to use be used as fertilizer. Yeah, and also you can use it to feed other dinos and stuff that you get in the game. Uh, some of them... Um, are just, that's what they eat, like dung beetles. Yes, dung beetles eat your poop. And yes, dung beetles are a thing in this game. <laughs> yes. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna craft up one of these campfires and this meat that we got, we're gonna cook up this meat so where we have extra food. All right. Now, um, from your inventory, you can come to here and you can just select it like this and then you can go like this or you can take and you can drag this down here, and then you can use it from there. Here, right click that to make that go away. Now I just press the zero button, and see now we can place this down as well. All right, we're just gonna go like that. Put this on here, bam, bam. And then the wood, or the campfires, they require a fuel. And right now we're just using wood. You can use wood, thatch, spark powder. No, you can't use gasoline. It's just wood, thatch, and spark powder. We're just going to light that sucker up and let that cook for a little bit. And it, uh, it'll tick every once in a while. When it ticks, it'll cook us up a meat. I believe it's uh, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. It's not long, but it does take a little bit of time. So now while that's going, we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at the area and see what all we've got in this area because this this is a really good area. I like this area and it's really cool. There's Tapajara up there. Those guys are pretty cool. They're not very early game mounts, but they're still pretty cool. All right, let's see what all we can learn. Because the if, you, if you're just coming back to the game, the engrams that you can learn, notice this, it's they're different. You learn things at different levels. Some of them have stayed the same. Some of them have changed. Narcotic is now only level 6. So, but we're not going to learn that yet. We probably should, but we're not going to. What we're going to learn, we're going to learn a slingshot, and we're going to learn the thatch foundation. Because if you're just starting out in the game, there's a few things in order to uh, level up as fast as possible that you want, Thatch Foundation is one of them. And the Slingshot, well, you need a Slingshot for taming things. And I will explain that here in a second. Let's, uh, crafting, Slingshot, we're gonna need more hide for this. No, we need more wood. We already have enough hide. So let's go um, get that wood. Coming over to a tree, we're gonna beat this thing up. All right, that should be enough. Craft that up. All right, now, as soon as this is done crafting, we're going to put this down on our bar. I'm going to put that on the 8 slot. Now, this slingshot right here, this right here, it requires stones. Just the regular stones that you find out on the ground. It's very cool. It's un unlimited ammunition. But it does, as you use it, it will wear down slowly. See, if you notice, all of our stuff, this little bar here right below it, is slowly starting to wear down. Now, when it wears down completely, it will break. Or you can come to, you can put it up in your inventory. You can go like this, and you can click repair as long as you have the materials. So this right here took stone, thatch, or stone, uh, wood, and fiber to repair. It's pretty easy. Uh, eventually, as you get into the higher uh, material stuff, it costs a lot more. But for now, it's pretty easy. All right. So now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take a look at our stuff. And what level is this guy? You are level 30. I think I might want to kill you. All right, what level is Bola now? We're going to take a look at that. Bolas are really effective. Bolas are level 9. We're not there yet. Um, let's go take a look at our meat. Take this. I'm going to put this down here on the bar. And then now all we have to do is press that slot. And then we can eat meat freely. And then also, once you... Uh, um, when your water goes down and you need to drink, you go up to a water source, look down at it, and click the use button, and you'll drink water. 
All right, I think we're going to try to take out this Parasaur right here. He's going to run on us, so we're going to want to be watching this. Now watch. Start, try to get as much damage up front, and then we're just going to chase this guy. He's going to run into the water. He's probably going to get dead. All right, come on, dude. All right, now we could throw our spears. Just like that. But I don't want to get rid of too many of our spears. I just want to chase this guy down and get him dead. Come on, buddy. Get stuck on a rock. All right, let's herd you over to a rock. All right, and we've got to watch out for Mega Prana over here. Yep, right there. Mega Prana. <laughs> Those guys, they can be quite mean. All right. All right, he's stuck on a rock, but we have to get over to him really quick. All right, there he is. All right, now this right here is one of the easiest ways of hunting is just pin it up against a rock. All right. So now this guy's going to die pretty easily. Come on, buddy. All right. And then that's how you fling a Parasaur. All right. <laughs> and we just want as much hide from this guy as we can possibly get. <clears throat> Right, so he gave us a, a whole bunch of hide. He gave us well, a whole bunch. All right, and then standing still is the easiest way of replenishing your stamina. And once the stamina's down and running around, you know, as you as you run, your stamina will be running, will be lowering down. But if you keep walking, it'll slow. If you stop sprinting and start walking, it'll slowly raise. But if you stand still, it'll just shoot back up. See right there, it just shot back up. All right, now let's cover a few things. Now that we've got most everything of the beginning basics so where you know how to stay alive, let's um, break down a few things. We have health, we have stamina, we have oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, crafting speed, fortitude, and torpidity. All right, each of these are very important. All right, let's raise up that again. All right, so now we have health. Health, this is your total hit points. When this goes down to zero, you die. All right, stamina, this right here is how long you can um, swim in water, how long you can sprint, and how long you can whack things. As you're uh, harvesting stuff, your stamina will go down. By standing still, it replenishes really fast. Oxygen, if you're underwater, this stat will slowly go down. Um, when it goes down to zero, you start to drown, and then your health will start depleting as well. All right, food, this is exactly what it means. This is your food stat. At, this will all be constantly going down throughout the entire game. It just does. All right, same thing with water. The way to uh, um, replenish food is to eat. We have our uh, cooked meat. You can also eat berries. and You can even eat raw meat, but raw meat will uh, um, lower your health as well. And rotten meat will as too, or will as well. All right, water... This right here is uh, same as your food stat, only it pertains to water. The way to replenish that, drink water. Wait, this is how much you can carry, right? Um, I would, I really suggest new players take this up to 200 as quick as possible to compensate for all the stuff that you'll be carrying around throughout the game. All right, melee damage. This right here, it's, it's a percentage based. Um, see, right now we do 100% of our regular damage. So whatever weapon we have in our hand, whatever, um, whether we're using our fists, a pick, a hatchet, um, any, a spear, anything like that, you will do 100% damage. As you increase this, you will do, I believe it increases by 2% um, increments, might be 5%, and I don't intend on raising that at all you will do more damage with physical-based items or bows, stuff like that. All right, movement speed. You, um, this right here is your base movement speed. Right now, we're moving at 100% movement speed and then also 100% sprint speed. As you level that up, which we will eventually level that up, you will run at incrementally faster speeds. Crafting speed, for now, I wouldn't even worry about this too much. Eventually, later on, I will show you guys how to do uh, custom recipes. That is something that I do plan on getting into in this series. They are very cool, but they also require, you know, that you have a lot of crafting speed. All right, fortitude. This right here is your resistance to the elements. All right, 
and also how fast, say if you get stung by a scorpion, how much uh, torpidity you'll gain from that. And I will explain torpidity here in just a minute. All right. Um, so fortitude, the higher up you get this, the more um, hypothermal and hyperthermal insulation you will naturally have. So you can go into colder areas, you can go into warmer areas, but that is also determined by the clothing that you wear. See, with this right here, um, the cloth armor it freaked me out, dude. Just go away. Go away. We don't want you here. I'm, I'm discussing things, all right, buddy? All right, just go away. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, so um, you're coming back. Really? You're ruining my shot, buddy. All right, so um, for uh, the fortitude and the cloth armor and stuff, the hyperthermic insulation and the hypothermic insulation is your natural resistance to heat and cold. Each piece of armor has a different value, all right? Some of them have more hyperthermic. Some of them have more hypothermic. It all depends, all right? And your fortitude also helps offset that a little bit, all right? Now, torpidity, this right here is your conscious meter. It's basically how awake you are. At zero, you're fully 100% awake. Now, certain um, dinos in this game, they have a torpidity attack that add torpidity to you. When you go down up to a certain level of torpidity, you will fall unconscious and they will eat you while you're asleep. Yes, that is in this game. Welcome to the land of dinosaurs. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, so... For now, we're going to run back over here. We're going to go check our campfire. I'm going to go throw more of this meat on the campfire. And there's a couple things I want to explain while we're over there at the campfire. All right, here we are. And then now, here, let me explain spoil time. All right, see on this right here, the spoil time, 14 minutes. That means when that when this timer goes down to zero, one, the topmost piece of uh, raw meat on this stack will spoil. And then it'll leave us with 19 raw meat, one spoiled meat. Spo raw meat spoils into spoiled meat, which may sound disgusting at first, and it really is. It really is disgusting as it sounds. Yes, it is. All right. Um, it can be used for different things. It can be used for narcotics. It can be used for uh, taming certain dinos in the game. And you want to hold on to the spo as much spoiled meat as you possibly can. Same thing with these little blackberries. These little blackberries, they're not regular food berries. These ones right here, they will give you torpor. See, watch this. I'm going to eat one right here. It gives us 7.5 torpor. Each one of these will give you 7.5 torpor and then give us this lovely little purple ring around the outside of our screen to designate that we have been hit with a torpor-like attack, but we weren't hit with torpor like attack i ate the berry <laughs> so yeah um those ones right there they will they, they'll put you to sleep and they also will um when you have dinos knocked unconscious they will also put um keep them unconscious so we want to hold on to as many of these little black berries as we possibly can the narco berries there's also white berries that are stem berries which have the opposite effect they remove torpor so the white and the black berries hold on to all right, these ones right here, the blue and the red and the yellow, those are the typical food berries. Those ones right there, if you're out and about and you want to uh, eat something and you don't have any meat on you, those are the best ones to eat for food. The measure berries, these ones right here, while they do provide some food, they're not as good as the other ones. But these ones right here are the best ones for taming most herbivores. All right, now herbivores are things like brontosaurus, this turtle right here, that iguanodon, that parasaur, stuff like that. Things that do not eat meat. If you were going to berry tame them, measure berries is the one you'd want to go with. Um, we're going to jump into the next step of playing Ark. All right, so you made it through the very first day. You made it through your very first play session. You made it through the very beginning of the game. So... Now we're going to discuss how to progress further. How do we move? Well, this is also still part of the beginning game, which is also why we're still covering it in the beginner's guide. So now that we've got a whole bunch of stuff already uh, oh, uh, done, we've got meat, we've got our spears, we've got our, um, we've got our pick, we've got our hatchet, we've got our slingshot. All right, now we're going to cover, um, well, let's see, we leveled up. 
in the off time. So uh, let's see. Um, let's go with another pump and wait. And then now we're going to just up here in the search bar, we're going to type in thatch. All right, because we need thatch, we're going to go with door frame, thatch roof, thatch wall, thatch door, slope thatch, slope thatch, slope thatch. All right, because I like that stuff. I like slope ceilings. So that's what we're going to go with today. So now we're going to pop over here and uh, make sure we've got some meat in there. Let's put some, uh, we might as well get this stuff going. Um, and then also, what level is it for storage box? Let's see, storage. All right, storage box right there. All right, we're going to go craft up one of those suckers here really quick. So let's get over here to this little area of trees. And let's see if we can get some stuff. And we want to still be paying very close attention because every once in a while you'll get raptors and stuff over there. So we want to be paying attention, seeing if there's some raptors and whatnot over there. And we want to get down a bed as quick as possible. Oh, that's still going. All right, well, hey, give me all you got, buddy. All right. That's a uh, storage box. All right, so now that we've got that, um, now we're going to start really flying through the XP as we craft. See, that was a big chunk right there. And then now let's uh, go with uh, one of these, one of these. So we've got two of those. All right, and see, look, they give you a big chunk of XP. That was 10 XP per foundation. And building in this game is one of the easiest ways of getting... Um, XP. So what are we missing now? We're missing thatch. So now we take this pick and we go down and we start going just Gathering up as much thatch out of these trees as we possibly can because we're gonna need it All right, let's uh, This green beacon right here just came down and each of these beacons has a different level assigned to their color The uh, white ones that come down they have like a little rainbow hue coming up off the top. Those are, I believe, level 5. This right here should be level 15. Yep, level 15. Uh, blue is 25. Purple is 35. Yellow is 45. And red, um, I think it's 55 or 60. It's one of those two. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, so we can't get that thing yet. Well, what level are we? We're level 9. So yeah, we're, that thing's just gonna, it's gonna go away on us. But yeah. So now let's uh, grab this storage box. We're going to put this right down here by the campfire. <clears throat> and this first rudimentary shack that we're going to build, it's just going to be there so where we can house our first little things, like our uh, mortar and pestle, our bed, stuff like that. All right, so let's get like this one. Um, now I'm missing fiber. All right, so let's go grab some fiber. Oh, and then while we're over here, let's stick all this metal inside of here because I don't want, well, this one piece of metal inside of there. And then this wood and this uh, thatch. And can I store this in there? No. See, this stuff right here is just stuff that you get from pre-ordering the game. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that and that. And I'll keep those because I like the Dino Glasses skin and I like the uh, hat. So, yeah. You know what? Let's, uh, you, let's just take this and put that right over there. All right. How do I look? Looking sharp. All right, already got the beard growing and everything. And you'll notice that as you play the game, over time, your beard will slowly grow. And the only way to trim it is to eventually level up, get a pair of scissors, and then cut it. <laughs> That's it. But there are some pretty interesting hairstyles in the game. Pretty fun. I enjoy that aspect of it. It's it's the little things. And uh, it's, the arc devs, they've really spent a lot of time on that, which is pretty cool. I, I enjoy it. All right, let's get this. And sometimes when you can't get these um, bushes that are right next to the tree, if you just pan around, and then, yeah, you'll be able to eventually get it. Let's grab that. Grab that. And then this stone that's on the ground. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Um, I wanted to start picking up a bunch of those things just so I have enough to... Uh, for my slingshot, because... Eventually, I'm going to want to tame something. And when I say eventually, I mean very soon I want to tame something. Because right now, we're just alone and, well, we're not naked anymore. I mean, we've got clothes, right? Yeah, we've got clothes. I'm not naked. See, uh, Mr. Carbonimus, I'm not naked, I swear. Really, I'm not. All right, I, uh, maybe underneath the clothes I am, but right now I'm not. All right, so now let's uh, get some more thatch. Lag a little bit, and then grab some more thatch. And then we're going to head over there 
and, har and uh, start crafting a bit more stuff. But now, as we see, right now, we're starting to really uh, build up the uh, weight. And now, over here, let me show you. Uh, this little weight icon right here. Okay, um, up here, down below here, in the very bulk of it, of the iron weight, you will see that, uh, you know, you'll, you'll notice that you run the same speed. But when you start getting up closer to... Um, this line right here, and when you hit this line, it'll start slowing you down. And then when you hit this very top line right here, that means that you're stopped. You can't move. You have to ditch some weight just where you can move. All right, so we're going to get over here, get some water because we're uh, thirsty, eat a few things of food. And then food, each uh, of these cooked meat that you eat gives you 20 food. So five of them will take us from zero to full. See right here, food. This right here is going up because we just ate five meat. Then it'll take us all the way up to 100. Bam. Nailed it. All right. So now um, let's uh, take these foundations, put those in there. And I'm not sure how big of a structure I want. I know I want at least six. So let's go with three of those. And then we're going to need a doorway and then a door so where we can get in and out. And then we're going to need some walls. But I will craft the walls as we're going. Um, actually, you know what? We can craft a few now. So uh, let's see. If we're going with a two by three area... We're going to need uh, one doorway, five other uh, walls in the front, and then we'll need six in the back, so that's 11. Then we'll need uh, four on each side, so that's 15. All right. All right. And then we're going to be, the levels are really going to be pounding on. And here, I'm not going to level up until after we're done uh, crafting all this stuff, because I want to show you just how many levels you get from crafting, and it's, it's quite a bit. All right, and we're going to just set our little shack over here on the area of down here. And this is just going to be a little rudimentary shack where while we're out here exploring, we have a bed to uh, fall back on. And then eventually we might turn it into something else, but I'm having a feeling that we'll eventually just scrap it. But it's going to be a great focus for getting us some XP. All right, now how you build this stuff is uh, you can either put it down here in your hotbar or you can just select it from up here and then it'll do one at a time. But if you put it down on your hotbar, you can just press that designated button and you can just build a whole bunch. Bam. We're done with this side. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go like that. Back over here. Wrong button. All right, so now we're going to need another one because I done messed up. I put a wall in the middle. All right, well, let's just demolish that. And then when you demolish stuff, you get half of your resources back, which is pretty cool. It's just not all wasted, right? Did I not craft enough? Let's see, it's six. I could have swore I crafted enough. All right. Two, three. Oh, it's probably because I destroyed something. So it uh, messed up. And also, once you're done crafting stuff, say um, uh, we finished crafting everything that we needed to. Um, oh, it's because I opened inventory. Okay. Um, if you still have the item down here, even though it's grayed out and you don't have any on there, but you still have the stuff in your inventory to make it, you can just click the button and it'll uh, auto make it. But we don't have enough in our inventory right now to make it. So we are missing wood. All right, let's go grab some wood. Run over here. And go grab some wood. And we're... What level are you, buddy? You've just been hanging out, chilling out. 75. You're not too bad. Um, and these uh, Carbo Animus, they can be quite... Uh, I don't want too much wood. They can be quite handy in the lower level. So maybe we'll go find a rock... That we can break so we have more stuff for our slingshot. Maybe we can tame this guy. I mean, they're actually pretty easy tames. Um, and I will show you how to tame stuff in this game. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's uh, come over here. And then now that we've got that thing still on our hotbar, we can craft up three of those by pressing the button three times. Alright. Bam. Bam. And one more. Come on, give it to me. There you go. All right. So um, now we're going to uh, go with uh, two of these, two of these, 
And we're running out of fiber. You can tell we're running out of fiber because we can no longer craft that. All right, so now on the inside, we're going to go in and we're going to put these things down. All right, here. And I'm going to have to go grab some... Oh, got to open the door. All right. Something like that. Just like that. All right. Pretty simple. All right, so now we've got to go with the slope ceilings. How many can we craft? Just two. All right, we're going to need two more. And I think we're going to need fiber for that. All right, so what else are we going to need? Yep, we need fiber. And maybe a little bit more thatch. All right, so let's go like that. Put that up there. Bam. Bam. All right. Oh, and then once I learn how to... Once I figure out how to go through a door again... All right. And then as we're... Going, I'm just going to be collecting stones off the uh, ground out here as we're running. Because, and you, you can see just how many stones we have by how much ammo we have on our slingshot. Which is actually, in the early stages, it's a really good way of finding out just how many stones you have in your inventory. Any stones out here? Yeah? Alright. Alright, and to knock out a level 75 Carbo Enemus, um, it could take a few stones. Take a few. All right, so let's come over here and let's gather all these things. All right. And this should be enough. Now let's go grab some more thatch. And we're probably going to have to grab some more stones really quick. If we're going to uh, want to be knocking out that turtle. I have to make sure I have enough hide in my inventory. Yeah, to repair the slingshot. Let's see, what does it take to repair? Alright, well I haven't fired one. So. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get over here. Let's put this stuff down. And then we're going to level up. We're going to find out just how many levels we got from crafting this. Now, I will admit, we're playing on... We have an enhanced uh, XP on this. But there's reasons why we have enhanced XP. It's because when I I record a lot, and I don't have the time to uh, spend leveling up on the official server settings. But everything else is the same as the official server settings. The dino difficulty, the dino damage... How much damage we take, all that stuff. The bosses, um, well, the bosses are going to be a little bit easier because we're playing in solo difficulty. I made one too many of those, didn't I? All right, well, if we made one too many, now we can just set it over here inside this. And this is why we built this. So where it can carry our excess weight. All right, and we're going to take back these stones. We have 48 of them. All right, well, look, where is that Carbo Animus? Now that we're looking for him, he's gone. All right, let me go grab a few more. Where'd you go, buddy? Is he in the water? <laughs> of course. Now that we're looking for him, he takes off. Alright, and then we're just going to beat this up with uh, hatchets where we get as much stone as we can. Because I want at least about a hundred of them. So, yeah. That'll work right there. Alright, let's click this. Now let's go over and let's see if we can find this guy. Because... They're really slow, but... Oh, what level are you, buddy? Huh. Alright, well, let's go over here. And see, we're running a little bit slower than normal because we've got so many stones on us. Did you duck in here? No? No? Then also, that's another easy way of uh, refilling your water. Is just jump underneath the water. And they'll refill your water all the way. I just, is this that same turtle? Are you the 75 guy? Need a little bit more food. Alright, and then now, from just building that, we got three levels. So, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take that up. Let's see. Um, we're going to go with movement speed up to two. All right. So now we've got on our stats, we've got 200 weight and 104 movement speed. That's not bad.
Pelagormus over there, and a turtle right here. Are you the 75 guy? You are. Alright, I want you. So let's come over here and let's drag this guy over. There he goes. Now he's aggroed on us. Alright, come on, buddy. Now, when you're shooting things with a uh, slingshot, as opposed to eventually when you level up and you get like stuff with bows and trade arrows and stuff like that, a slingshot does a one-time upfront torpor effect. Every hit gives a standard torpor amount, but uh, later on you'll get things that cause uh, torpor dots. And yeah, but for now we're just going with as much raw upfront torpor as we can, and this is gonna take a while because. Slingshots don't do that much torpor, but it's effective. It's the first range source of uh, torpor that you get in the game. All right, I'm going to make sure that we don't run into a wall and we don't back into another Carbo Enemus. And these things have a really big drop off, so you want to be very mindful of that. And the further back you pull it, the more damage it does. All right, let's get over here. Oh, and he's running. When they're running, it means that their torpor, whenever they get down to 25% torpor, they will run. Which means that we're almost ready to, this guy's almost knocked out. But we have to get him knocked out before he gets into the water. All right, repair that. Come on. I want to get in front of him. There he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now he's back aggroed on us. All right, cool. I'm good with that. You were about to get in the water. All right, let's see if we can get you back over here to the campfire a little bit closer. Come on, buddy. And it's all about placement. Where can you place them so where they will survive while they're unconscious? Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't attack my stuff, dude. Thought you were almost knocked out. He wrecked our thing. This guy's got a ton of torpor. All right, all right, all right, all right. the butt, buddy. Yeah. Take... Come on. Am I not going to have enough stones for this? Holy crap. Alright. Oh, punched him. Alright. So, hey. Punching is also a, a slightly effective way of uh, taming, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's, you end up getting uh, beat up quite quickly. So now that he's out, all right, see this right here, this is that hidden torpor stat that we were doing. Um, every time we hit him with the uh, um, slingshot, he would get, uh, I believe it's eight points on this. So that's why it took so long, because he had 1,496. That's quite a bit. All right, so now that we have these, um, now that he's unconscious, we took all of our measure berries, because these are his preferred berry when taming, and we're just going to throw it on him and let him eat that. This is not enough to tame him fully. 
All right. Now, also, see, now that the we raised this bar all the way up to 100%, and he uh, got knocked out from it getting to 100%. Now it's going to slowly go down, and you can see it right here, right there. It's going to slowly go down. All right. So now, how we stop that from going down is we can get him to eat one of these berries. Now, either you can uh, select it and uh, hit consume, which will force his torpor to raise, or you can just uh, mouse over it on PC, and then you can just use it. Just press the E button over it, and then and that'll force him to. So now, while he's out, I'm going to go get some more measure berries and get him uh, get some more berries on him, so where he doesn't run out of berries. Because if he runs out of berries, we're gonna lose the tank. All right, so I'm gonna get this stuff done, and then um, as uh, he gets closer to getting up, I will bring you guys back, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so while that turtle is out. I see a level 10 Parasaur over here, so I'm going to try to see if I can get her out. Do I have any stones? I don't have any stones. I thought I picked some up. Oh, yeah, there's stones. All right. Now, she's going to run the moment that we try to uh, do anything with her, so I'm probably just going to see if I can punch her out. But I'm going to get a couple in. All right, so now that she's uh, doing that, we're going to try to uh, sprint over like this. Over in front of her. Now she's going to get lost out in the water. Yeah, she's going to go way out there. She's going to go swimming, get eaten by sharks. That's one of the things they do. You going to come back in? Well, have fun swimming with the sharks. All right. Now these guys right here, they give a uh, really good XP buff. So now that I see one over here, while that guy is out there getting eaten by sharks, I think I'm going to uh, see if I can go get some more berries and stick up this guy's butt here really quick. And I say by sticking up their butt, it, you don't really stick it up their butt, but you do walk it behind it, so it feels like you're sticking it up their butt. All right. So <laughs> we're just going to go like this. I want to see how many it takes to tame this guy. Uh, mission berries down there. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now, um, I, see what I did? I took the measure berries and I put them down in the zero slot. Now, the zero slot um, is what you use to passively tame. Now, there are things called uh, active tames and passive tames. This guy right here, he was an active tame, which means that we have to knock him out and then um, uh, we have to... Uh, just put some berries on him, let him uh, eat up, and that's how that guy works. Um, that's how uh, active tames are. But um, now that uh, he's knocked out, we can just put all our berries on him because he's eventually going to get up. And then he'll be our little buddy, and I'll show you something cool about him when he gets up. Now, the passive tame, this guy right here, what I mean by shoving things up their butt is uh, as you walk up to it, see how it says right here, wait until it's hungry again? That means it's a passive tame. Or if you walk up to it and it says, put uh, taming food in last taming slot. That means that you put it down in, you put their the food that's used to tame them down in their zero slot, and then you walk up to them and then you press E, or in this case, S. All right, so I will just use it on that. See, it fills up his bar a little bit, and then now he, that filled up his hunger um, and so now we just have to wait until he's hungry again, then we can feed him again, which will be kind of cool. And these guys right here, they provide a lot of really cool chitin and, uh, oil and silica pearls. I'm not sure I want to kill him yet, though. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be, uh, running back and forth here. I'm probably going to have to get this guy some more measure berries because he's taming up really slow. His taming effectiveness right here. See right here, his taming effectiveness is going to go down quite a bit. He's going to lose a bunch of levels. And let me explain this right now. All right, when you first knock them out, they have 100% taming effectiveness when you first put stuff on them. All right, depending on what kind of food, the lower quality food you put on them, or if they get hit afterwards, after being knocked out, their taming effectiveness will go down. So they'll like you less. They'll get less of bonus levels. That's what this right here is. That's bonus levels. Right now, if he were to just get up and be ours and be our best buddy, he would get plus 36 extra levels. They'd get added directly onto this. He'd be level 101 when he first gets up, which would be awesome. It'd be amazing. All right. Actually, no, he'll be 111. Yeah, sorry, math is hard. All right. So <laughs> he'd be 111. So when he gets up, 
Um, right now, or when he... Let me back up. I'm getting a little too... Hold it with flicker. All right. So, yeah. Um, as he slowly eats these measure berries, because they're really not his preferred food, um, he's going to... Uh, his taming effectiveness is slowly going to be going down. So, he'll it'll probably be down to about 90 by the time he finally uh, gets up. Oh, it's 90, It's only going down by uh, 0.1 per berry he eats. So it'll probably be bound, down to about 93 or 94. All right. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Now this right here, if you see right here, he he has a taming effectiveness too. And um, if we were giving him uh, rare flowers or this guy's preferred kibble is what they call it, or preferred food, um, he would, it would be almost an instant tame, and then he would come out at almost 100% taming effectiveness, and it would just be awesome and amazing, he would be our buddy. But, um, since, uh, we don't have rare flowers, we're just giving him measure berries, um, he's slowly losing his taming effectiveness, and he's losing a little bit quicker than, uh, the Carboenimus over there is, because it, he's higher level. Alright, and, uh, yeah, he takes a bigger hit. Each, each dino that you tame takes a bigger hit on their taming effectiveness, depending on a few factors. Normally, they're just internal factors that are uh, programmed into the game, making in individual dinos harder and some easier. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to get these guys done. I'm going to get them tamed up, and I will see you guys in just a bit. Are you ready to eat yet? No, you're not? All right, well, I'm going to be following this guy around for a little bit. Or this girl around for a little bit. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, now this girl's ready for her last feed, so now... Feed her, and then, yeah. All right, and I'm just going to call her XP. Z. All right, so she's XP's. All right, so now she actually has kind of a superpower. She tamed up to level 130, uh, 133. Um, but she, her superpower, and here, let me show you. Okay, see, as you come up to her, um, you can uh, use the use button, and then you pet it. Right, and then she gets like this little arrow over her head, which uh, gives bonus XP to all the dinos around her, which is pretty cool. And we're going to have her follow us. We're going to come over here to this guy who's still out. And now that we've got uh, all these extra measure berries in our inventory, we're just going to throw them on him. All right, and then wait for him to get up. And he doesn't really need any nar narco berries, but I'm still kind of keeping an eye on it just in case. Come on, XP's. All right, get over here. All right, you go, girl. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to wait for this guy to get up. I'll bring you guys back, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, one last feeding, and then he'll get up. Yeah, it hasn't taken me too long. Uh, their food goes down quite fast. Um, as the carbo enemies, well, their food goes down kind of slower compared to some, but it's 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 fast because it's just measure berries, and I'll discuss that here in a sec. All right, um, so we're just going to call this guy, well, this is a turtle, uh, carbo enemies. He's our first guy. We're going to call him Bob. All right, I like Bob. Bob for my turtles, they're they're pretty good. All right, and he tamed up at level 110, which is pretty good. All right, we can't ride him yet. Eventually, as we level up, we'll be able to unlock the uh, Carboenema saddle if we want to and put it on it. I rarely ride a turtle because they just look silly, but um, they're really tanky. And here, let me show you. I mean, he's already got 3,000 hit points compared to our 100 hit points. So he can take one heck of a beating compared to us. I mean, we can get armor and stuff like that, but he's just got a ton of hit points. Plus, he's also got 229 uh, melee damage, which is all right. It's not bad. All right. Now, dinos have kind of a superpower in a way that they act as a refrigerator. Here, let me show you. All right. Let me take this stuff back. Put that up here. All right. See, now look at this. All right. See, the spoil time right here where it says spoil time, 4 minutes, 39 seconds, 38 seconds, and whatnot. All right. Now, we take that. All right. See, 430. Let's go till 430. Then you put it on here, bam, all right. And then now that 430 is now 1756, which that it's a superpower right there. They act as a little mini refrigerator. They make their stuff last longer. So if you uh, have stuff that spoils, like this meat right here, we can take half this meat, put that on there, and it's going to have two hours spoil time. We're on here. It only has 34 minutes. That's great. That's good stuff. We want that. We're also going to take all of our uh, spoiled meat and put it on there because we're going to want that spoiled meat eventually. So, yeah, now we can come over. We can click this guy. All right, yeah. Do your little jump. Yeah, good job, buddy. All right, um, right, let's level him up. And then, see, now that we clicked him, 
he's got this little arrow over his head, which means that he's now getting bonus XP from just chilling out on the beach, relaxing in the breeze, doing his little thing, chilling out, having fun. Maybe a mojito over there, you know? Maybe Margaret, I don't know. What, what, what's your drink of choice? Ah, lemonade, gotcha, buddy. Good job. Hey, I like lemonade too. All right, so go on, let's get over here. And um, yeah, so uh, now that we've got the two dinos, our two first dinos under control, I need to repair my campfire because Bob ended up beating it before he liked us. So yeah, I, I need to repair the campfire. <laughs> Yesterday we went out and we tamed up XPs and we tamed up Bob. All right, now both of these two have just been leveling up a little bit. Um, and passively, I've, on Bob, I'm just going with weight uh, for a little bit. I might put a little bit more melee damage and health in him for right now. But right now, I just want him to be my refrigerator. All right. You hear that, buddy? You're a good refrigerator. I like you being a refrigerator. Be a refrigerator. All right? Good job, bud. And then XPs, we're just clicking him every once in a while. Make sure that the XPs... Yeah, you go, boy. All right. Um, oh, no, this is a girl. That's right. Girl. You go, girl. All right. So, yeah, we're just making sure that... Uh, uh, she's got uh, XP. Um, we're just going to put hit points on her, but we're making sure she has the XP buff going at all times. And let me put some food on you. All right, and she also acts like a mini refrigerator. She doesn't have nearly as much weight as Bob, but she's still going to do all right. All right, so um, now that we have been leveling up a little bit and we've got our first tames under our belt, now we're going to uh, open up our Ingrams tab and we're already level 14. So now we're going to come down here and we're going to learn Bola. All right, and we're going to learn bow and stone arrow because they are important. And we're also going to learn crop plot. All right, small crop plot because I'm going to show you guys how to get into that a little bit. Um, crop plots require irrigation, but you can't make irrigation until level 17. But we're still going to jump in on that. All right. So um, here, let me show you a few things. Uh, let's also get mortar and pestle and narcotic going because if we want to hit level 17 quick, you need... Uh, mortar and pestle and narcotic. We're also going to learn sleeping bag because sleeping bag is required for the bed. All right, where's the bed? You were just here. All right, now if we wanted to learn um, the bed without learning the sleeping bag first, well, you, all you, you can go over here and you click this and it'll auto learn the uh, um, oh the sleeping bag for you. So you have to learn the sleeping bag in order to um, learn the simple bed. It's one of the prerequisites. But if you uh, don't want to have to search for the sleeping bag and then search for and then search for the bed individually, you just search for the bed, double click on it, and it'll say, "Hey, would you like to spend uh, enough ingrams to unlock all this?" And you click yes, and then it just uh, automatically unlocks them. It's a very cool new feature. All right, and then also we're going to learn this wooden foundation because we're going to be converting some of our stuff over to wood in order to be pumping out the XP machines where we can get tons and tons of XP. All right, so first off. We're going to uh, make up a mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle requires stone and hide. Well, how much hide does it take for the bed? All right, so we've got to balance both these. This takes 15 hide. This takes 40 hide. We've got enough for both. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, let's get the bed going first, which takes wooden thatch. Let's go grab the wooden thatch real quick. Come back over here to our little convenient copse of trees that is just hanging out on the beach that we keep cutting down whenever we need wood. It's very effective. It's very cool, and I enjoy the fact that we have trees right next to where we decided we were going to build. All right, so let's get that. A whole bunch of wood, because we're going to need it. All right. Let's grab some more wood. Whatever wood we have left over, we can just stick in our uh, little handy-dandy storage box. Do we have enough to repair that? We do. All right. So now that we have that uh, hatchet on our inventory bar, whenever you need to, whenever it breaks, you can just uh, click on the button and it'll repair it, which is kind of cool. All right. So now, uh, let's see. Do we have enough to craft a bed? We do. All right. And what are we lacking from this? Still stone. So let's go um, place down our bed over at the rudimentary shack. And then, hey, we leveled up from that. Good job. All right. And then we're, um, now the, the bed will give us a place to respawn. <clears throat> oh, and also it's raining. And it's hard to see right now. You can see it right there. Yeah, it's raining. And when it rains, it's uh, quite handy because uh, it's... Let's put that in there. And, you know, let's carry that just so we can repair that stuff. When it rains, it fills up your uh, um, hydration meter, your little water droplet over on the side, which is very cool. All right, let's put this down over here. 
All right, so we've got a bed. So if we want to, we could fast travel. Say uh, we were going to uh, go, say if we had another spot, and this right here, this is from a different playthrough that I'm doing. Um, so that's, I probably should get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. But this right here, this is where our bed is, the X. This is the terminal we are currently using. If we had other beds built around the uh, area, we could uh, uh, fast travel over there. But you need to drop your uh, items. You need to put your items in a uh, storage box before you go because it, it, it essentially kills you and respawns you over there. So, um, yeah, it'll drop all your gear that you have on you on the floor unless you take it and you put it in a little handy-dandy box on the side. All right, let's get, um, let's get another movement speed so where we can outrun a raptor just in case. And let's go get some stone for our mortar and pestle. All right, so let's get this. And then eventually we're going to want to start moving into uh, metal and stuff like that. But here now we're just trying to uh, get the early game XP under our belt. See, right now we're still getting some metal, which is important. We want this metal. All right, um, let's see, uh, there we go, mortar and pestle, and now we've got that, and also now that we have enough stuff, we're going to craft up this bow, and then as many arrows as we can, but we're going to need more flint for that. All right, so let's take this, let's put this down on our hotbar, and then let's just take this uh, slingshot, put it away, put it up here, and then we're going to put the bow right down where the slingshot was, because the bow is a much, much better tool than the slingshot, and we're going to try to go up and get as much flint as we possibly can, and so where we can craft up as many arrows as we possibly can while we're out here. All right. Come on. Come on. Because arrows go hand in hand with making narcotics. And I will explain that why here in just a few minutes. So we're going to want as many of those as we possibly can. And we're going to want to repair our pick as many times as we possibly can. All right, and there's a Dillo way over there. We haven't encountered one of those in this playthrough yet. Um, we've been, we picked a very easy spot to start. This island over here, um, the only other island that's even more, that's even easier than this one is called Herbivore Island. And so, yeah. All right. Um, if you're looking for a really easy spot, we're taking that movement speed up to 110. Um, so we're, we're going to stop at 110. I do not plan on taking movement speed any further throughout this entire playthrough. So 110 is as high as I want to go. Um, next off, we're going to keep going up with a little bit more weight. We're going to get weight all the way to 300, I think, and maybe um, health up to 150. All right, so now um, that we have all of these uh, ready, let's... Oh, we can only craft 10. Oh, we're missing thatch. All right, let's go get some thatch. I want to do just a big, big, huge amount of arrows all in one go so I don't have to be crafting on the fly. Right, let's get that. And that. Alright. Uh, crafting arrows 61. That'll do. Alright, so now that we have that, uh, let's uh, craft that up. And also, I want to get a second bow and put it down on the inventory. And I saw something run across there. All right, now this is something you want to pay very close attention to. Okay, it was just Demorphanon. There's this guy out here flying right there. I saw him dart like this. It actually looked like a raptor for a second, just darting across the water, which they will do that. When you see that, you turn and run or you kill it. That's your only option. Kill it or run. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got the arrows crafted, we're waiting on the second bow. We're going to take this. We're going to put this right down here in the other one. So where we have a second bow to switch to, when we need to. See, so right now we have this bow right here. When this bow gets damaged, if we're in the middle of combat, we don't want to have to repair that because that takes time. We just switch to this one and bam, we've got a second bow already loaded. That's awesome. All right, it's very, very good advice. Oh, and the XP's buff wore off. So we're gonna click that on you. Make sure you've got some stuff. Do you have any more levels, buddy? All right, we're gonna take you up and wait again. All right, good job. All right, stationary targets. Good job being stationary. Give you a little bit more health. All right, so now we've got the mortar and pestle. We're going to take the mortar and pestle and we're going to put it right next to the front door because we we're, uh, most of the times when we run up to this mortar and pestle, we're going to have stuff that is either spoiling or heavy. So we don't want to have to go all the way through and you know try to find it in a big jumble. And then this right here, we just instantly know that as soon as we go in, it's just right here. 
All right, now opening up the uh, Mortar and Pestle's inventory, you'll notice that it has 12 slots in here. Plus also, it has certain engrams that you can uh, craft in here. Like this one right here, it has um, narcotics. All right, now narcotics, they take narco berries and spoiled meat, which is why we've been keeping all of our spoiled meat. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take that. All right, we don't have many uh, spoiled meat right now. So, you see right here, this has a 15 minute spoil time. So it's gonna take a little while, but we're just gonna spread this out. All right, here, let me explain this to you really quick. Let me let me back up, all right? Um, see, right now, if we were to let this spoil, the top one would spoil and then the other two would remain. It, by splitting this stack up, all right, each one of them now has an individual spoil timer. So where when they go down to zero, they're all going to become spoiled meat, and then just the entire thing is going to uh, help us out, and it's going to be all nice, and everybody's going to have fun. We're going to have a big narcotics party, and we're going to go hang out at the mortar and pestle, you know, and tell stories over by the water cooler and stuff like that. Right. Okay, so <laughs> now that that's uh, in the, now we're just going to put our narcotics and our spoiled meat in here. We're going to go through here, click on that, and then we're just going to... Select all four of those. Now, here, watch this really quick. Narcotics, they will give you a ton of XP. See, 1288, and then... Here, watch, wait till it ticks again. Yeah, it's 1301. They give you a ton of XP. So, narcotics, if you're looking to level up fast, narcotics are the way to go. All right, and what level are Trank Arrows? Let's uh, take a look at that really quick. All right, Trank Arrows are level 21. So, as soon as we... We want to have a bunch of uh, narcotics ready... Because these are the main ingredient in Trank Arrows. So we're going to be leveling up as quick as we can to get there to level 21. Right now we're 16. But in the process, we want to make sure that we have a whole ton of narcotics on hand. So where as soon as we hit level 21, we can pump out a whole bunch of those. Oh, I've got a bunch of flint over here. Can I make some more arrows? Yes, I can. Thank you. 22 of those. All right. Okay, and then now that we've got this, we're just going to take all this hide and we're going to stick that over in there because we want to keep that. We're going to take all the stone and put that over there and all this wood and put that over there and all this metal. Metal is very important. I cannot tell you just how important that is. Well, actually, I can't tell you how important it is. It's very important, all right? Very, very important. Keep your metal and your narcotics and your spoiled meat and a bunch of other stuff. And you keep it inside of one of these things. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're waiting on that to spoil. We're going to get that. All right, now we just need to... Oh, and also this... Uh, um, oh, charcoal. We want to keep as much of that as possible. All right, I mean, I realize that a lot of times you're not going to be able to uh, um, collect a whole bunch of charcoal. You're not getting... You know, you're going to have to throw some out on the ground, you know. But it's important that as you can... Keep as much charcoal as you can, because eventually, when you get into firearms, you're going to need the charcoal for gunpowder. And you're going to go through a whole bunch of it. So you need to keep as much of that as you possibly can. All right, so now we're going to, uh, let's see, let's take this, let's put this in there, because we don't need this right now. But, um, what does it take, wrong button, what does it take for the uh, crop plot? Right there. Um, it takes 20 wood, 10 thatch, 25 stone. So we've got most of that. We just have to go get some. All right, let's 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 go get our thatch really quick. And then we'll come back and we'll craft that. Because there's a couple things that we want. All right, there's thatch. We're just going to grab up a whole bunch of thatch while we're over here. I mean, why not? All right. And what level are you, dude? You're level 90 male. I already have a level 75 male. If you're a female, you'd be cool. But you're not cool because you're not female. All right. And then now also while we're out here, we've got these bushes here. We might as well pick some because we're going to be looking for a certain type of seed. All right. Um, now the seeds, they're, they're, they're random. They really are. Um, but, I mean, I can't tell you we're definitely going to get one. We might. But here. Yeah, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be gathering some of this stuff. Um, it's going to take me a little while, probably, and I'm not going to make you guys sit here through this while I gather all this. But as soon as I have the correct seed, I will bring you guys back, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I finally found one. I found a bunch of other seeds, and I've been collecting poop. Don't judge me, really. All right, but, <laughs> yeah, also, I got some of this. I got a whole bunch of narco berries in the process, but, and I realized mm -hmm. after I was already out picking a whole bunch of berries, I realized I already had one. Um, yeah, we're going to, uh, stick this in here. All right, we're going to stick narcotics in here, narco berries in here. So where we're starting to grow up narco berries, um, in, uh, um, 
you know, in the off time, basically. So where we will always have a steady supply of narcotics in here. Oh, let me, let me get the poop and stick it in here. And then also, since we, uh, what, what level are we now? We're level 18. We can actually build uh, irrigation. And we're starting to slowly get our irrigation up for when we get a medium crop plot. Because, um, see, normally I would say, you know, don't start your crops right away. Well, that's not so much anymore. Because now you need to uh, um, have a, you need to have crops ready to go as you start leveling up. And see, this is already growing. And then here, let me show you how I irrigated that really quick. Um, I crafted up a water skin right here with the some of the last hide that we had water skin all right so now i take the water skin over here and then um while looking at the water you press three or while standing in the water you press the button then it's on it and then you take the water skin you put it in here and then all you do is just consume and it puts all the water from the water skin inside here and then it fills it up i fill that back up all right so now we we're gonna have um eventually we're gonna have narco berries growing in there all right, and then the poop we just put directly in there so where it acts as fertilizer. Now, you can make better fertilizer out of poop, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to do this so where we have this already going and then also so where we already have the, uh, <clears throat> the irrigation set up. So where when we do finally hit, um, what is it, uh... Uh, level 26, we will have the irrigation already set up so we can jump right into rock carrots because rock carrots are the only way, or they're the best way, of taming a Equus. All right, now a horse in this game is amazingly cool, and we want one as quick as possible because they're so amazingly cool. But in order to get one of those, we have to have rock carrots. Um, and but you can't put uh, rock carrots into the medium crop plots, but that's kind of you know the one of the little things that uh, you know you have to do. Um, so now we're going to uh, come out here. We're going to go get a bunch of uh, metal. Dude, what level are you? And that guy's going to aggro on us if we get too close. Uh, do we have enough stuff to build a bola? We do. All right, let's build four of those. All right, let's take these bolas. Let's put them down on our bar. All right, right there. Get that out of there. Right, because if he gets close to us, uh, we're going to need something to uh, bola him and to, something to root him and then get out of the way. And a bola will do that just fine. Um, because I would like to tame him because iguanodons are pretty cool. But I'm not sure we're ready for it right now because we don't have trank arrows or anything like that. But we're going to get some um, stone so where we can uh, start bu building our irrigation. And then get over there and get the irrigation running and get ready for all that stuff. And then after that, I think we're going to convert the little rudimentary shack over there. We're going to convert that to wood. And we should, that should give us enough XP to get up into uh, Trank Arrows. Which is going to be a huge step for us. All right, but also we need to keep an eye out for dodos, dillos, stuff like that. Anything that can give us uh, meat and hide because we need both of those. And I saw a Dillo out here earlier while I was out running around doing stuff. There's a Dodo. Alright, let me get this uh, stuff put away. Let's come over here. <clears throat> Waddle our way over here since we're encumbered. And then we're going to get the irrigation loaded up. You don't want to come mess with my base, buddy. I've got a Bob. And an XP's. They will eat you. Alright. All right, Iguanodons, they're really passive. Uh, they'll only aggro if you get right up in their face, so, yeah. All right, so, um, let's see, uh, Irrigation. All right, so, Intake, Straight, Tap, Inclined, and Intersection. All right, and that's really all we need. All right, so, let's go with uh, that, one of those. You know, let's just go with one of those. We don't really need a whole ton of this. All right. Let's get you up like... You know, I think we don't even really need hardly anything. We can just put a tap right there. All right. Bam. Hey, look at that. 100% irrigation. And it's in there. So 
my narco berries will be growing around it. But hey, you know what? That's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's get in here. Let's put this uh, spoiled meat that we've got in here with the uh, narcotics. Uh, craft that, drugs, craft all four of those, get that XP, and then while that's going, now we're going to, uh, start going over and getting a whole bunch of wood and whatnot for, well, we're gonna need that and that and that. We're gonna need wood. Thank you. There's XP. All right. Here, you just carry my stone, buddy. I don't need it right now. All right? All right? So, yeah, let's, uh, go with some more weight. Level uh, 19. Level 19, right? Yes, 19. Two more levels, and then we've got uh, oh, Trank Arrows under our belt. And then we're almost uh, up to uh, Medium Crop Plot, because we need to get a Medium Crop Plot as quick as possible. All right, so let's go like that, put that in there. And then, all right, I'm going to be over here. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of wood. We're going to craft up a bunch more stuff, the wooden foundations and whatnot. Oh, and one thing I wanted to cover, at this low of level... When you're crafting stuff, um, it's easiest just to put the uh, engram on your bar so where you can craft it as you go, so where it's not building up a whole ton of weight as you go. Because uh, this wood, it weighs a lot. But it also gives a ton of XP. That's awesome. All right, we're already level 20. All right, so um, yeah, as you're uh, crafting, just put the engram on your bar and then you can uh, craft it on the fly. All right like this as we go just click that it's no longer taking up a whole ton of room in our inventory and then as that lights up we can just keep moving on and these foundations give a ton of xp and see yeah a ton of xp it's so awesome all right up to 250 weight already and we're gonna need some hit points here really quick um, so we need one more of those. We're also gonna need some more thatch. Look at that real quick. Alright, let's get this one. And back to wood. Crap that, and that one should... Yeah, here, 22, 33, yeah, 55 XP for one, that's that's really good. All right, now that we've uh, got the six foundations that we need, now we need to open this up, we need to learn wall. All right, wooden wall. All right, so now we do the exact same thing as we did with the foundation, we put the wall right down here, because we're going to need a whole bunch of these. But the foundations and stuff, they will start uh, building up a whole bunch of weight. But not as much as the raw wood would. Um, I said wood wood, huh? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, we're going to be uh, leveling up here soon. Uh, we're going to be up to uh, max level here soon. All right, we're going to go with some, uh, some health. We're going to get that up to 150. All right, let's repair that. 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 You see the XP, it, it literally just flies as you're doing this. It's amazing. It's so cool. Alright, so I'm going to finish doing this and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, coming back to the base after building all the foundations and all the walls, and uh, we're already uh, we're already up to level 24 now. That's pretty cool. Alright, what, uh, crop. Alright, we still have two more levels to get for that, but yeah, here pretty soon we're going to be able to get when the Refining Forge and all that, which is amazing. What level is Refining Forge? I think it's 20. At least it used to be. Yeah, we're going to get that Refining Forge up and going here soon. But for now... We're just going to take these, put these down here, and... Oh. Did I just do that? Oh, and I'm in it. I jump? Oh, no. All right. All right, well, hey, we're going to come inside here, and we're just going to drop these down right like this. And I'll, you just go like this, and it'll automatically replace 
the one underneath it, so it won't destroy the structure above it. We don't have enough stuff. Um, we're missing wood. All right, let me run back out here, grab some wood, because Flinger done screwed up. It happens. It happens. All right. Uh, let's uh, go like this. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. I can craft it one now. All right, <laughs> come back here. All right. I, I swear I didn't mess up, Bob. I swear, dude. I mean, XP may have saw it, but I didn't see it. All right. Put that right there. All right, cool. All right, so now we're going to take this. And I probably overcrafted the walls, but you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm just going to go and systematically replace all of these. And, and all half of the resources for all the stuff is going to come back into our inventory, which... Um, if you're, you have to be careful when you're, uh, destroying or overlaying a whole bunch of, uh, heavy stuff like stone and stuff like that because it will, uh, weigh you down as you're destroying it, which is kind of, it kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. So, hey, we've got mostly, uh, a wood for, uh, most of it, which is really cool. Let's close that door. Let's see. Bam. And then, bam. So, hey, now... Our, this little piggy made a house of wood. It's no longer a house of straw. Eventually, we will get into a house of stone, but I'm not sure it's going to be here. Now that we've uh, been out here and then we've uh, converted our shack over to wood, all except for this, the roof, and I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think every wooden shack needs a thatch roof because it just looks good. All right, what level are you? You're 30. Okay, so... um. Now that we've got this stuff like this, now we need to start sticking stuff in it. And now that we've been sticking stuff in it, uh, well, a few things. Well, we've got this. I'm going to take these back. I don't want those to spoil. We've got 22 narcotics already. Um, I'm going to leave those in there until we find something we're gonna, we want to tame. And then, what do you, you just pooped on my front lawn. I realize it's sand, but you should pick it up and take it with you, Mr. Iguanodon. Oh, you're female, right? Mrs. Iguanodon. All right, so now that we've... Uh, Oh, all right, I'm going to put these back in here so where they uh, last on him. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to pump his health just a little bit more. There you go, Bob. Yeah, looking pretty good. All right, so, yeah, I'm a little scatterbrained this morning. But other than that, you know, I've got a lot of stuff going through my head because we've got a lot of stuff we have to cover today. So today, now that we've got the wood, con the wood shack converted over to a wooden shack, now we need to jump into uh, sticking some stuff in it. We need to uh, jump into... Uh, putting some storage in there. We need to jump into getting a smithy in there. We need to jump into getting a refining forge in there. And I need to pick up this poop really quick because we need to get that put inside of over here. And the narco berries, they're still going. Um, they're going a little slow, but you know, that's best to be expected for that. Um, we're also going to uh, probably get some uh, fertilizer up and going here pretty soon. And I'll show you guys how to do that as well. All right, so now that we've got this, we've um, I learned a refining forge. Yeah, so now we need to get that done. And the best and easiest way, all right, here you will notice that refining forge, it takes a lot of hide. Yeah. A lot of stone, but a lot of hide. Now, the easiest way that I can show you to get hide is grab a bulla, a handy-dandy trusty bulla, and then you come over here and find the first parasaur. Bam. All right. Sorry, dude. And we're just going to, uh, we're going to quickly remove this guy from our front lawn. Kind of quickly. Maybe not quickly enough. All right. So now we're going to uh, harvest this guy up with a hatchet so where we can get as much hide as we possibly can. And this, at the earlier levels, once you learn Bola, it really, really makes it a lot easier to get hide and stuff. So, yeah. And then also, all this uh, meat that we have, we're going to spread this out. So where we can keep keep the narcotics train going. Because we need to keep the XP flowing as fast as possible. I mean, never let up on that XP. Because there's always XP to be had, and we're going to want a whole bunch of that. Alright, now, I'm not going to spoil up all this meat. Where's my campfire? Dude, get off my stuff, man. Alright. Um, oh, I'm going to take this poop as well. Hey, thanks. All right. Um, yeah, that's right. The 
Bob destroyed my uh, campfire. So now we need to craft another campfire. So I'm going to get that handled really quick. And then also I'm going to put this poop in here. Someone else pooped. Bob, was that you? Good job, buddy. All right. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get that. Uh, put that in there. So now, um, see, each poop that you give um, gives a certain amount of fertilizer. See down below here. And let me get, get the little laser pointer out. So now that we've got this... Um, the fertilizer keeps going up. All right, now it's not going to go up as regular fertilizer. Poop just, it, it's not as good a fertilizer as regular fertilizer is. But, um, 28k, uh, fertilizer, that's pretty good for just sticking poop in a box. All right, <laughs> so yeah. All right, now we're going to come over here and we're going to, uh, harvest some, uh, stones from over here. But we're looking for a certain type of stone. All right, not these ones right here. Not these ones. I don't even know if they have them over here. We're going to take a look and see if they do. If they do, we'll be in business. If not, we're going to be struggling a little bit. We're, we're definitely going to have to move the base pretty soon if, if this isn't the case. All right, so let's go see if there's any underneath this water. And see if there's any Mega Piranha down here. I'm pretty sure there are. And also, you have to keep an eye out for raptors and carnos up there. All right. Uh, this place over here is pretty safe. And this is why I started out here this, in this season. Because I wanted it... I wanted to show everybody the safest spot where you could possibly spawn. And not have to worry about, you know, things coming and munching on your tender bits. Oh, I thought I saw something. No? No? All right. All right, there's none of the river rocks over here. So we're going to have to go over to the other area. We're going to go on a little adventure here. All right, so now these rocks, they're, they're good for providing stone. And every once in a while, you'll get a little bit of metal off them. But they're not great um, for metal. And those are the ones that we're looking for. We're looking for metal because it, when making a refining forge... And here, let's get on our way back. Let's grab enough uh, stone so where we can get our refining forge online. And before we... Uh, need to go out and do our little adventure but i like adventures i mean i, I really am uh, into adventures so um <laughs> i want to go see if there's any of those metal rocks over there by the beacon over there and those beacons they're kind of cool um they're yeah, on the public servers they're great for transferring from one server to another because most of the beacons are connected um most of the um Online servers are connected. There's certain rules that you have to, you know, follow and whatnot. Um, you can't go from, say, solo game to public servers. That just won't work. You can't go from uh, not public servers, from private servers, to public servers. But you can go from public servers to sometimes private servers. All depends on what the private server settings are. It's kind of cool. It's good. And then also if, uh, oh, you're uh, on a public server that is connected to uh, its uh, a clustered server... With, say, uh, the center or, um, oh, Scorched Earth, you can freely travel between those two via the beacon. It's really cool. Yeah, that's that's really good. It's like, you know, you get all aspects of the game in one playthrough. It's really awesome. All right, let me see. All right, uh, yeah, we have enough stone. And I'm a little bit encumbered. So we're going to craft this on the go. All right, so there we go. We've got that refining forge going. We're going to head back to base. We're going to drop this sucker off. And then we're going to go on our adventure. And I will see you guys in a minute because, yeah, see you guys in a minute. All right, back here at base. And on the way, I also crafted up a campfire. And we're going to take the campfire. You know, I'm going to put it out here a little bit. Give us a little bit of room to build just in case we decide we're going to stick around here for a little bit. All right. Um, and I'm going to take the stack of 14 right there, and I don't have any wood, so I'm going to run over, grab, um, hey, Mr. Turtle, can I borrow some of your wood over here, buddy? Yeah, thanks for cooperating, bud. All right, grab this. Let me grab another one, just where we can get some storage going here really quick. All right, let's see, uh, crafting, I didn't learn storage yet, so let's learn some storage. And you notice, you'll notice that as we're doing this, um, the the engram points are really, really building up. So yeah, we've already got like eighty some of them just sitting there waiting for us to um, do stuff. So oh yeah, let's uh, craft up uh, one, two. Yeah, two of those will be good for now. We can always add to it later. All right, let's see. 
All right, now, um, sometimes I will recommend putting your Refining Forge outside. This is not one of those sometimes. I'm going to re um, recommend if you're doing something over like this that you put it inside. That way there, it's, it's just safer that way. All right, let's put that in there. And let's get this metal that we have refining. It's over here in this box. We're ready to actually destroy this box here soon. All right, grab that. It's only five pieces. Eh, that'll do for now, I guess. All right, so we'll stick that in there. And then we're not even going to light this up right yet. We don't need to. It's, there's no point. All right, now we're going to uh, get these uh, things right here set down. And we're not going to set them uh, over here by this. This Because this right here is the most open area, but our smithy's going to go there. So we're going to set it over here. But when we set these down... We're going to set them side. See, you can set them up here, like up against the wall like this. You know, and they'll look okay. But, um, here, let me show you. If you take it and you put it just close enough. All right, come on. You're going to do it. There you go. Green. All right, now back. All right, set it just like this. And then put down the other one and just come straight back until it turns green. There we go. So what, now we have two just like this. So now when you uh, go to open them up, you can just go from one to the next. One to the next. Just like that. And then you can just have a whole bunch of them like there. See, we still have room for, I think, we could probably fit two in there. I hope. That's the plan. Um, so where we can put a couple in there. And I'm just going to dump off most of this fiber. Oh, give me back the meat, buddy. i got to get that stuff spoiling. All right. Uh, let's get that. And then we're also going to leave most of our hatch here, but we're going to stack it up as best as we can. And then also I'm going to leave the flint because we still have a bunch of arrows. I don't need more of those right now. But yeah. All right. So now let's go out here. Let's grab our handy dandy uh, spear. And then we're going to come over and see if we can find some of those little river rocks. Because those things, if we can find them in the area, they will... They'll, they'll help us out tremendously. And I'm going to show you, at least I'm going to hope I can show you, the the exact kind of rock we're looking for. I have meat. I have my water skin. There's a bunch of water. I can always fill it. So, yeah, that's basically all we need at this low level. Yeah. Parasaur over there, a couple uh, Pteranodons. It's always good to have in the area because we're going to want to tame a Pteranodon soon so where we can get their... Uh, them passively leveling before we get you're running from something what attacked you dude i'm feeling there's a raptor or something over there um we want to get a tronodon passively leveling so where we can start getting some levels on it for when we can finally put a saddle on it it won't be just not good at the start all right we're going to take a look underneath here You always need to pay very close attention to, uh, um, for piranha while you're in the water. Oh, there's a dillo. All right, let's see. Oh, what? Hey, dude, I need some hide. Headshot. Bam, thank you. You got a lot of hit points, buddy. All right, there we go. All right, we're just going to harvest... Oh, there's another one? Your buddy came? All right, all right. Oh, okay. And see, like this, we don't need to fire this arrow. But if we fire this arrow, we're going to lose it. The easiest way to uh, not lose your arrow, switch weapons. All right, and we're going to see if we can get some of those arrows back. And then we're going to harvest this guy with a hatchet. Well, both of them with a hatchet. And they're going to stack up our meat, so we're going to have to unstack our meat. And then harvest the tree while we're doing that as well. All right, see, yeah, we now have a whole bunch of meat that's stacked. So we're going to need all this stuff spoiled. Bam, bam, bam. And I've left all that other meat in the campfire, and I didn't even start it. I probably should have started it. But that'll be fine. All right, um, now we've got health up to 150. That's good. We're going to stop at health um, at that height, or that's... Um, we're going to stop at 150 for now. 
And there's another Dilla right down here. I'm going to kill him real quick. There we go. All right. Now, these Ichthyornis down here, uh, the little uh, seagulls, they um, can be kind of a pain in the butt at times because they will come and try to steal your stuff. And I've had them steal long neck rifles and stuff like that from me. It's it, it's not very fun. All right. So you just want to kind of keep your distance, but not look like you're keeping your distance. You know, walk casual is what you want to do. Ramshackle cloth boots. All right. It's blueprint. Hey, all right. So we've got that going on for us. These rocks right here. These round rocks. These are the good rocks. All right. Um, see, when you harvest these rocks, you ha they're not like, you know, super amazing. And I, I, let me repeat that. They're not super amazing for getting the metal, but they do have a slightly higher chance of giving you metal when you harvest them with a pick. See, right here, here's a little bit of metal. Um, you, it, it's slightly higher. It's not vastly higher, but it is slightly. And all we need, we had five over there. So all we need is uh, 12 pieces of metal right now. So let's see. So we had five. We need two more. And then we are good for now. Hold on, give me... There we go. All right. So, yep, that is it. Successful mission. Nailed it. All right. So, yeah, now we're going to head back to base. And I will explain why we only needed 12 pieces of metal. All right. So as we're running, let's see. The uh, um, When you smelt the metal, it's a two-to-one ratio. For every two um, raw metal that you get, you get one metal ingot. And then for when you uh, craft a smithy, it takes five metal ingots. So that's ten pieces of raw metal. And then when you craft the uh, the pick, which is the first thing that you will always craft after you craft a smithy, you need one piece of metal for that. So that's six pieces of metal that you need. Six metal ingots that you need, which is 12 pieces of metal. All right, if that makes sense. It should. I hope it does. If it doesn't, um, click rewind and play again. <laughs> that's really all I got to say. Um, let's see. Now we've got a bunch of spoiled meat. We've got this meat. Let's uh, throw some of this in there. Let's get that cooking up. You know what? We're just going to put that on there. Might as well. All right. And then while we're coming in here, I'm going to grab all these narco berries because all that meat just spoiled up. You guys saw it. I hope you saw it. Um, and then we're going to take this, stick this on there, put that in there. And then, let's see, spoiled meat, consumables, drugs. Yes, thank you. All right. And then we're going to go out here and make sure that we click on you. All right, so now that our metal's all smelted up, let's, uh, well, let's, we'll just leave that in there really quick. Now we're going to open up the Ingrams tab again and go down. And we're going to find out where the smithy is. All right. Now, the smithy should be at level 20, I believe, with the new thing. But also, we're going to learn this compost bin. And then, uh, let's see. Smithy, right there. And also, while we're here, we're going to learn the metal pick and the metal hatchet. And then we can also learn the trank arrow. So let's learn that. And then, what else? 26 medium crop plot there we go all right we're in business here all right so now that we've got that we're going to uh open up our crafting tab oh we gained a level let's uh start going with weight again let's take that up to about 350 maybe 400 now and before we start working on fortitude all right so now we need five metal ingots 50 stone and 30 wood all right so now let's uh do we have wood in here well, we just hit up a level, so now we're going to take weight up a little bit more. And then we're going to put down our smithy. Now, this is why we left the room, the space over here. This is the only problem with the smithy, is you can't put them back up against the wall. See that? That's as far back as to the wall as you can get. You can just put it inside of here. Yeah, but not there. So, yeah, we're going to go with there. All right, so now I'm going to take this last little bit, put it in there. Um weapons melee and then right here we need one wood and 10 hide so we've got the hide now from now on i'm just going to be dumping all of our hide that we get inside of here so let's go like that craft that sucker up and now that we've got this metal pick we can just get rid of that all right say la vie buddy it's been nice but uh yeah take it easy dude all right 
There we go. All right, so now we've got a metal pick. Oh, yes, we've got metal. We are actually in business now. Um, so now we're going to run right back over to, uh, we're going to take our newfound metal pick right back to where we just got the metal from, from these river rocks, because now when you're harvesting them with a metal pick, you have an even higher chance of getting metal from them. It's not like harvesting a, a straight up metal node, but it's a lot better than with a stone pick harvesting, you know, a river rock and whatnot. And there's a whole bunch of these river rocks over here. This is this is really good stuff. All right, let's drink a little bit of water. Let's eat a little bit of food. Stop for a sec so our stamina jumps right back up. All right, there we go. All right. And we're just going to harvest a bunch of these things. And I'm not sure we're going to keep all the stone. Here, look at this. Yeah, we're going to be getting a lot more metal. I mean, it's not going to be, you know, huge or anything. It's not like harvesting a big metal node. But it, the chance of getting metal off these is so much higher with a metal pick. It's it's awesome. It's really good. All right. So I'm going to be over here harvesting this stuff. I'm going to see how much metal I can get. And I will bring you guys back here in a minute. All right. Coming back over here. And also, we've got a new Bronto that... Uh, Apparently respawned in the place of the parasaur that we killed. That's a bad thing kind of because if anything aggros him He will attack and uh, When they hit they hit hard. So yeah, let's take this meat and we were able to get 42 um, Metal out of that um, little excursion before I became encumbered So yeah, let's just stick that in there light that back on fire stick some more wood in there for that And we're gonna wait for this stuff to smelt up a little bit how much uh, We need wood for that. So let's go grab some, while that's doing that We'll go out here and we'll grab some wood. All right, so now that we've got this we're gonna come over here But we're not really ready um, yet to uh, fully go for the whole ton of uh, crops but we're gonna get ready for this here soon because yeah, there we go. All right So now you're not in range of that. So we need to raise that up a little bit. So let's uh, go back with irrigation Let's see uh, Let's go Straight Inclined let's go with that and then one of these and one of these and one of these all right, so now we can take this incline. Bam. All right. And then let's just take this. And we put that there. Will that reach everything? 400, 400, 400, 400. Hey, that's all we need right there. And also now it's up off the ground. Yeah. All right. That's good stuff. All right. So now we've got that going. We're going to, uh, let's see, craft. We need one of these. A compost bin. We need more wood. Okay. More wood. All right. All right. So now, oh, hey, buddy. What level are you? 40. Can I knock you out? If I can knock you out, that'll be great. Let's see. Um, let's grab some narcotics. Let's craft. Uh, we don't need 44 of these. Let's just go 20. Trank arrows. Alright, so now let's put these down here in our second bow. So now instead of one bow like this, we now also have a bow with trank arrows in it. So we can just freely swap. And then we're going to try to bolo this guy. And these guys take a bunch of narcotics, which is why I didn't want to uh, use up all of my stuff. All right, he's unconscious. All right, let me get back those arrows. All right, let's see. All right, now this guy's torpor is going to be going down kind of quick. We're probably going to use all these narcotics, maybe even more. So now that... Still hear combat music. Okay, so now that this is going like this, now we need to come over here. Oh, what level are you? 25. I probably should have tamed you. All right, now we need to come over here and we need to find some uh, fish because that's all those guys eat is fish. But if we can get this guy tamed, they are amazing for um, helping tame other dinos because they help get you prime meat. Hey, Mr. Cole. All right, so we're going to go with this fish meat. If we need more, we can always run back and grab some. But for now, this this will work. So we have to run back over to this guy, remember where he's at. And then there's also a little trick. Um, here, let me grab some wood while I'm over here. Let me show you this little trick. When you're out here taming and you have uh, little small dinos, you can craft up a... Uh, 
a standing torch that you can just throw down right next to where you're uh, taming, so where you can instantly find whatever it is that you're uh, that you knocked out. So where there's not very much guesswork at all. All right, he's still unconscious. That's good. Right, his torpor's gonna be yeah. His torpor's already going way down. All right, let's throw this meat on him, and then let's give him two of our narcotics. One, two. All right. There you go, buddy. All right. It's good. You're going to be a long tame. All right. So, yeah. Um, and then now we've got that, let's uh, craft one of these standing torches. Uh, pump our weight. Oh, hey. We're now actually in business for uh, Iguanodon. All right. Let's stick that right there. And then now that that's like that, we're just going to... Uh, seven. Put that there. There we go. Now we know exactly where he's at. So we're, say we're way over there and we're coming back from uh, meat. All you have to do is look for the burning fire. And then we can come over and we can find exactly where he's at. All right. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, taming this guy while I'm waiting on the metal to smelt up. And I'll bring you guys back here in just a bit. All right. Yeah. yeah see you guys in a bit. All right. So while we're waiting on this guy to be tamed. Yeah, I realize it hasn't been very long. Um, I gave him another narcotics where it's... Uh, it, it, his torpor is going back up. And also, one thing you need to realize when you're taming these guys, when you're taming anything, um, here, let's ca craft uh, two compost bins. All right, when you're crafting anything, oh, compies are over there attacking. Good job, Bob. Dude, good looking out, buddy. Yeah, awesome job, Bob. All right. All right. When you're taming any... Dude, get off my house! You're gonna poop in my house? I'm taking that. Thanks. Right? You can't have a back. Right? So now, when uh, you're taming things... I have so much stuff I need to say really quick. And that guy keeps interrupting me. All right. When uh, you're taming things, if... See, this torpor bar right here, if it's not going... If it's not going up... It's constantly going down. But if it's uh, going up, it's not going down, if you catch my meaning. So they're not losing any torpor while it's going up. So it's kind of cool. It'll go up for the full 35 that um, a narcotic is worth. Really? Really? Out of here, dude. Give me those arrows back. All right, so yeah, um, if uh, you have something whose torpor goes down really fast, just give it a narcotic. Yeah, it helps quite a bit. Sometimes it takes more, sometimes it takes less. All right, we're gonna take these uh, compost bins and we're gonna set them out over here somewhere. Really? Harvest you up with my spear. All right. So we're going to take these, and we're going to set these somewhere where they can actually fit, because I have a feeling that... Yeah, there they are. All right. So the compost bins, they're going to be out here. All right. And then now, um, whenever you're making compost, it's three poop, 100 um, that, or 50 thatch per one. So we're going to need to go get some more thatch and we're going to take some of these uh, poops. No, no, I don't want to destroy you. I want to open you. Let me open you. There we go. All right. So we're going to take some of these poops. Actually, we're going to take all these poops because I really don't care too much about the narcotics right yet. Eventually, I will. But um, and then we're going to grab a whole bunch of this. Going to stick that in there and then that there. All right. Come back over here. We're going to stick all these poops inside of here. All right, um, let's see. There's a small, small, small. That'll be one fertilizer. We'll take that, put that in there. Then we've got small, small, medium, small. All right, so three and three and there. And then these other ones we're going to put, and we're going to put in this large one. All right. It's where, as we get more of those. So this right here will be the small one. These will be the medium and the large, because I don't think we're going to get much um, medium and large. I might follow around the Bronto for a little bit, picking up his droppings, but yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so this guy, he's still taming up. He's still going slow. I'm probably going to have to go pick some berries for him really quick. 
But yeah. All right, so I will bring you guys back when it's morning time probably, all right? See you guys in a bit. All right, there's a beacon over here. I'm gonna try to get it without getting dead. All right. <laughs> of course. Small crop plant, compost bin, of course. All the stuff we've been crafting for a little while just drops from the sky. All right, yeah. All right, so as this guy finishes up taming, I'm just letting him ride out the torpor. Now what that means is by letting him ride out the torpor, all right, um, the, it, as the, uh, here, let me get it like this. Okay, so as the uh, bottom, as the torpor bar goes down and the fooding bar goes up, uh, you try to guess so where the, the bottom bar will reach 100% while the uh, um, purple bar, the unconscious bar, is about right around here or so. All right. And see, like with this, um, see, his food goes down by around, it, it's, see, it'll go down uh, by two points and then all of a sudden it'll go by three. So I think it's going down by about 2.1 or 2.2, maybe 2.15 or something like that, because it'll go down and then periodically it'll have a, a three drop. It'll go down two at a time and then periodically I have a three, which means it's a two point something. Okay, now this right here, it goes down by um, four point something. I'm thinking about 4.3, somewhere around there. And so this right here is, goes down much faster, probably about twice as fast as this goes down, maybe a little bit faster. And so I'm trying to time it just so where I give him just enough narcotics where I'm not wasting narcotics, but he'll get up and everything will be fine. And there he goes. Pretty good. All right. And we're just going to call this guy, um, we're going to call this guy Taming Buddy because this guy is going to be our Taming Buddy and he looks pretty cool. Looks all majestic, right? Yeah? Yeah, you look pretty good, huh, buddy? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to get up all in your grill, dude. You poop, dude. You earned it, right? That was a lot of fish you ate without pooping. So you must be a little constipated. You know, it's probably the narcotics. But I will take that. Let me get that. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. And now these guys right here, they're really, really, really cool. Um, because here, let me show you. And see right here, this little orange text that's above his name where it says hunt. All right. Well, here, we're going to switch this over to hunt and retrieve just with the radial. And then we're going to pick this guy up. And here, let me show you here really quick. We come over here, and it's this. It's a lot easier to do this while you have the crosshairs enabled. If you don't have the crosshairs enabled, you can do it. Um, don't get discouraged. It uh, it'll just take you a little bit more practice. But here, let me show you. With hunt and retrieve, you can come out here. You can find a fish. Did I kill all the fish? <laughs> all right. I guess I might have killed all the fish. Let's see. Now you come out here. Oh, I see a fish over there. All right. So you come out here, and then... All right, see right here. There's a fish. All right. You just send him out to attack it. See, he goes and he kills it, and he turns it golden. It's amazing, and he'll come back with hunt and retrieve. If you do hunt, he'll just drop it anywhere, and then he'll go out and he'll hunt some more. Um, with hunt and retrieve, he'll kill it, and he'll bring it back to us. Right here. Thank you. All right, now see, this thing is glowing golden. So now we can harvest this with a pick, and we can get prime off it. That's awesome. And he can do this with dillos. He can do it with, as he levels up, he'll be able to kill dillos like that. Um, he won't be able to carry them, but uh, he can also get compies. Compies he can carry, um, and uh, dodos. Dodos, oh my gosh, these guys wreck dodos. And you get prime meat, raw prime meat off of dodos. It is amazing. This guy, yeah, he's a little bit big on my shoulder, but you know what? I, I can deal with the shoulder strain while he's doing, well, you know, while he's helping us out so big, or so much. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to come over here. We're going to, uh, what do we need for hatchet? We need metal ingots. All right, so let's grab that. Metal ingots. We've got 21 of them from our little expedition. Put that over there, over there, and hatchet. Yes. All right, now eventually we're going to move into a pike and stuff like that, but I don't see the need to right yet. I mean, eventually, probably the next episode I'm going to. All right, so hey, now that we don't uh, need this thing anymore, drop that little sucker. We've got the raw prime uh, fish meat, and we're just going to set this guy. 
There you go, buddy. And then I'm just gonna put this on you. There you go. There's some prime meat for you, buddy. You've earned it. And I'm gonna give him a little bit more health. I don't want him to die right away. But we also want him to have a whole bunch of melee damage where he can go out and get us a bunch of stuff. I'm having a pretty good day. Starting out a little late, but that's okay because I've been over here. Uh, I've been trying to get some time to pass. I've just been uh, rant. I've kind of been wrangling up a bunch of poop. And so far, I've only gotten... Hold on. I need to keep that. All right, so far I've only gotten uh, two fertilizer, but you know, that's two fertilizer more than I had before. But I've been following around Mr. Bronto over there. He's been giving us some large poops. And um, yeah, so I think now we're ready to start getting our first crop planted. Now the first crop you wanna go with, other than narco berries, uh, we're gonna go rock carrots right here. All right, and we're gonna put this down over here and I'm probably gonna build something around this just so where it doesn't um, get beaten up by stuff. And right there we go. All right, uh, let's see. Medium crop plot, ro crop rock carrot. There we go. All right, so now we've got a little bit of fertilizer. We've got 108,000. That's not too bad. And it's already scar starting to give me a texture bug. But while that's going, it's going to take a while for that to go. But I think I want to start getting... Can I? Can you be bullied? You can. All right. I want to get as much of this. He's going to aggro on me here in a sec. Oh, he's all right. He's out and I hit him. <laughs> all right, give me those back. All right, well, so I hit him while he was out. Um, let's see if we can get some... Uh... Do you have any measles on you, buddy? You do. Good job, Bob. Good job, buddy. Hey, do you have any spoiled meat? You do. Hey, hold that one too, buddy. All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to uh, just take... We're just going to stick a whole bunch of uh, measles on this guy. And let's see. Oh, you're... Yeah, I hit you, but it's okay, because you weren't very good to begin with. But eventually, you'll give us plenty of eggs, girl. And for now, I, I hope I don't go out and get you killed. All right, so uh, what level does it take to uh, learn the Iguanodon saddle? If I could spell it right. Iguanodon, there we go. Hey, cool. Now, what does it take to craft it? It's probably going to take a whole ton of hide. Uh, 80 hide, 50 fiber, 15 wood. That's not bad. How much hide do we have inside of the smithy? Hey, 80 hide. All right, 80 hide, fiber, wood. All right, can we craft that sucker? Yes, thank you. All right, so now let's get that. We're Now we're out of hide. So we've got to... Yeah, we've really got to step up the hide production here. So if... Uh, hey, all right, and there's a level. All right. So um, I'm going to put that back in there for now. I'm going to pump up. Let's see. I've got 300 weight, 150 health. I'm going to start going a little bit of stamina just in case, you know, bad things happen. I can run for the hills as quick as possible. But I also want to keep a lookout for, um, oh, any parasaurs or dillos or stuff like that. Anything that comes in the area so where I can uh, get some uh, easy hide. All right, let's get that. Let's uh, repair that. Repair. Thank you. That back down there. That over there. Thanks. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to get this girl tamed up. And you know what? I think we're going to go out on our first adventure out into the wilds. Because why not? I mean, she's going like that. We're just waiting on the rock carrots. Uh, we're waiting on... I mean, these are going to take a while. They are. Um, so, we're going to be waiting on that. But I think I'm going to get... A structure built around this where things can't beat them up so uh yeah while well, she's taming up i'm gonna go craft let's see uh fence foundation wooden fence foundation all right there we go and i might as well just learn the stone because i will need that one eventually so we're gonna go craft up a bunch of these and when it's time to place them i'll show you how uh, we go about doing that wood thatch fiber cool all right Let's close that, and let's go grab uh, some fiber out of here so we don't have to go pick any more berries right now. And we'll just go gather up a bunch of wood and thatch. We'll go gather up a bunch of wood, and <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so now when setting down a whole bunch of these fence foundations, I just want to make sure 
that if something comes up and starts beating on one of the dinos, that collateral damage isn't going to destroy it. So let's go like this. Bam. Bob, you're in the way, buddy. There you go. All right. All right, there you go. All right, so now we're just going with a three by three around this. There we go. And it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to be effective. And then now, uh, we're going to go with this. Make sure that it's on the right side. There we go. And then, um, yeah, when you're placing these things, if they're not on the right side, because sometimes with these things they're not, uh, you can just press either the use button or Q, and it'll uh, cycle through uh, a bunch of the stuff. So, yeah. See, just like that. Now I'm going to have to break that, because, yeah. See, press the use button. There we go. And like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be effective. Hey, there we go. I will name you here in a sec. Alright, so she's up. Oh, we're going to have to place a door there. Hey, Bob, you're going to have to come with me for a sec, buddy. Come here. Yeah, we're going to put you over here on this side, buddy. All right, come on, dude. There you go. All right, XP's, you too. All right, come on. I need to have you over by Bob's where you're passively leveling him all the time. Come on. And maybe the bird. There you go. Come on. There you go. All right. Oh, hey, you already got a level. All right. Um, we're going to give you some more melee damage. You're not getting very much per pump. So we need to get a higher level one of you. All right, let's pet you. And then I will lo uh, name you here in a sec. And see, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be pretty. Just effective. Let's see. Um... Can I put one of these here, or is it going to go through? Just not going to go, huh? All right, well, don't get beat up, all right? And this right here is still going to take quite a while. Let me get a drink while I'm here. All right, so yeah, let's go over here. Let's, uh, what? what's a good name for a real low-level Iguanodon? I'm not too sure. Um... Well, we'll just call her Guano, because she's an Iguanodon. Oh, well. <laughs> we're searching for her. All right, let's uh, call her, yeah, Guano, the Iguanodon. Guano the Iguanodon. All right, that makes sense, right? Right? Yeah, you like being called Bat Poop, don't you? All right, <laughs> so we'll go in here, and we're, let's get the uh, saddle, and... Let's see, right there, and then also, I was able to kill a dodo, so I've got that going on for me. And then, let's go like that. I'm gonna take a little bit extra berries with me. Actually, you know what, how much berries can you get? And let's go find out how many berries this girl can get. Because that's kind of the reason why we tamed her. Alright, and we're on one of these suckers, alright. And then, these guys right here, they can run forever, which is just amazing. But if you go like this, and you uh, go on their back legs, they use up their stamina while they're moving. But uh, this is how they attack, is like this. And it's like they're giving them the thumbs up, you know? Yeah, you just give everybody the thumbs up attack. And then if you right click, and you go back down like this, they have infinite stamina. It's so cool. All right, let's give you a level. Some more health. Wow, you don't get much health at all, girl. All right, well, let's go see how many berries you can get. You can even jump, too. Well, hey, we're getting more berries than what we were getting before, which is awesome and amazing. And she can even get us thatch, too. That's kind of cool. All right, well, let's see. How many can I get just out of the front yard? All right. All right. 
She's giving us a whole ton of thatch, too. Alright, so how many narco berries has she given? Wow, okay. Alright, this is pretty awesome. Alright, let's take these out of your inventory because I want them. And then now, let's take a look. Let's turn those, uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> she gives us a ton of seeds. This is really cool. I mean, if you want lots and lots of seeds, this girl will do it. Yeah, and she only gives a small poop. But you know what? I'm going to take that because I'm still uh, farming poop. All right. So now that we've got access to all of this uh, narco berries, I'm going to get as many narcotics made as I can. Let's get this stuff spoiled up. And right now, before we go out on our adventure, I'm going to get this stuff spoiled up. I'm going to get some more... I'm going to get some more poop. And you guys got any more poop? All right. Just do your little dance. All right. Let's see. All right. And then um, we're going to... Let's see. Fertilizer. you have any room for poop? All right. There you go. Take some poop. All right. So, uh, yeah. I'm getting this. Oh, this one's empty. This one needs room for three more. Hey, guys. All right. Get busy. Okay. You hear me? Yeah, get busy. Right, you too. You're part of the pack now too. You've got to start uh, pulling your weight. Poop, poop now. All right, so I'm gonna get this stuff spoiled up. Get some more narcotics going, and yeah. All right, so let's see. Got three in there. 160,000. All right, doing good. Doing well. All right. All right, that's not too bad. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. The stuff's spoiled up, and now we've got a ton of narcotics. Uh, 48 of them, plus 9 Trank Arrows, plus 15, 16 more already uh, being made. That's good stuff. All right, and now why this is uh, doing this, also I want to, uh, let's see, uh, let's go learn uh, Spark Powder. Where are you? There you are. All right. Oh, and also I want to learn Spyglass, because eventually, here pretty soon, I want to get out and start making... I want to uh, get a spyglass made. But for now, I'm going to take all this uh, flint and some stone, put it in there, and I'm just going to queue up 73 spark powder for now. Uh, we're going to need to go grab some more stone, so let's take out our new iguanodon. But also, I've been gathering a bunch of seeds. And now seeds, um, for the most part, they're, they're actually kind of cool. Um, I mean, they're not like, you know game changing or anything and why are you going to need that many seeds why are you going to need to crop um, plant that many crops but if you're a new player starting out and you want to have plenty of extra food on you um that one's full all right um the the seeds that you get from these they're food that doesn't spoil and then here let me show you um here and let me see uh my food well see right now um, I'm at 92 food. Here, let me run around a little bit. Let's get my food down a little bit. Here, let me show you. All right, come on, get my food. Come on. Let me swing my arms a little bit. Well, let's just get the stamina. Get the stamina bar down to zero. And then... I've been pumping my stamina, so... Oh, hey, a shops. Oh, these guys are pretty cool, too. What, what, which one do you need? You need prime meat. Oh, hey, I can get prime meat pretty easily. What level are you? 95, not bad. All right. Um, where's Taming Buddy? Let's go see if we can get that. Is there a Dodo? Oh, hey, there's a Lystrosaurus around there. Um, let's go see if uh, Taming Buddy can uh, take care of a uh, Lystrosaurus. All right, so now that we're waiting on our stamina bar to come up here, watch. The food's going to be going way down as the stamina comes up. All right, now watch this. So is water. All right, now all we do is just mouse over this, and we'll just eat a stack of 15 of those. And the food goes up. And they're low weight. I mean, it's like one, one pound per stack of this stuff. It's pretty cool. And then, I mean, you can get it, food off just about everything, even stemberry seeds. This, it's food that doesn't spoil. It's pretty cool. And for each one of those, it'll fill you up. If you have a um, hundred food, it'll fill you up um, full. It's pretty cool. So where it's good thing to have this stuff on hand if you're out adventuring and stuff like that. If you're a new, you know, uh, a new Ark survivor and you need to have as much food with you as you can, seeds are pretty cool. All right, uh, let's get you some more melee damage. Come on, 
All right, so I got poop and a stone while trying to pick you up. All right, good job, buddy. All right, so uh, let's come over. Oh, there's a dodo. All right, these guys are awesome for dodos. Here, let me show you. All right, let's get out our handy dandy. Go get him. All right, yeah, munch on the dodo. Come on. There you go. All right, uh, let's use a pick on this guy. Let's uh, pick you back up. Come on, buddy. All right, let's see. There's some prime meat. Let's take the prime meat, stick it down in there, and let's rush over there, because prime meat actually spoils a lot quicker than regular meat. So let's come over here. And let's see. Hey, all right, now we not need to go get another prime meat really quick. All right, so let's go see if uh, this guy can kill a Lystrosaurus. I'm not sure if he can like that. Let's see. Can you, can you eat him? Are you going to eat him? You're not going to do anything to him. Oh, whoa, you got him. Hey, good job, buddy. Yeah, taming buddy. Get him, boy. Yeah, there you go. All right, good job, buddy. Yes, three prime meat. Come on, come down to me. Come to me. Come on. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna run back over here and we're gonna try to see if we can tame one of these Mo Shops over here. Uh, hopefully he wants prime meat again. Wait until he's hungry. All right, come on, buddy. He wants rare mushrooms this time. I don't have any rare mushrooms, buddy. All right, all right, all right, well, we got some prime meat anyway. All right, so now we're gonna come over here and uh, we're going to uh, go see what we can see. We're gonna go explore this island. Because, I mean, I like this island over here. This is pretty cool. And, I mean, if you're a new player and you're starting out and you're just trying to figure out where's one of the safest spots, this is it. But you still have to be aware that there are occasionally bad things over here. Uh, once in a while, you'll get a Carno, you get a Raptor, stuff like that. Like right there, there's a Dillo, a couple Dillos. Another Dillo. Dillos aren't bad. Dillos aren't bad at all. Oh, there's a Raptor. And some Dillos. I wonder if we could kill a Raptor. Kill a Raptor? I don't even know what level he is. He's eating that Mo Shop, so you know what? We're going to come over here. Oh, and also there was a Compi right there. Yeah. Oh, hey, we could tame a compi with prime meat. Oh, and... Oh, a foo. Oh, and you look awesome. Come on. Can we take a raptor? Come on. Come on. Take it. Take it like a champ, buddy. Yes, we got a raptor. Or, oh, no. And a dillo. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh, this hurts. Another raptor. No, no, no. I just tamed this guy. No, no, no. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. You still behind me? He's still right behind me. This is gonna hurt. Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Holy crap. Oh, wow. All right, so that's the dangers of going out and about. Whoa. Let's eat some food.
Got him! Holy crap! Alright, well, let's, uh... What do you got on you? You got some more spears. Alright, cool. Thanks, buddy. Jerk. Can't believe you ate my uh, iguanodon. That was a brand new iguanodon, dude. Fresh paint job and everything. That's how quickly that stuff happens. <laughs> so, yeah. Whoa, alright. Okay, so now back to the drawing board. Now we have to go see if we can go uh, find something else. Because our Iguanodon died, I lost the saddle. Well, maybe we could actually get back up there and get the saddle. I don't know. Let's go see. Because, I mean, it's a fresh saddle. It's up there. It's still there for a while. There was a ton of Dillos up there as well. Eat some more food. You see, this is the dangers of Ark. And, um, I mean, I realize in this series so far, we haven't encountered too much of that stuff, but it is very much... Get away from me. Oh, Quetzal up there. No, 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 not a Trudon, not a Trudon. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. I'm dead. All right, so we're back and I died. Yeah, I ended up getting stuck in an eternal torpor loop, which means that uh, when I was knocked unconscious by the Trudon, are you for real? Get away from me, dude. <clears throat> when I was knocked unconscious by the Trudon, um, he could barely hit me. Normally, they'll just eat you and then feast on you and then everything will be over. But I was stuck underneath there or down there with uh, those guys or with that guy just sitting there eating me. And every once in a while, he would... Uh... Where is it? Oh, there's Taming Buddy. All right, Mega Nura. Where are those guys? All right, there you go, Taming Buddy. All right, so I got him back. Where's my... All right, here's these guys. Fish in a barrel here. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, here's the saddle. So let's get that really quick. Saddle. Thank you. guys kited a little bit. Alright. There we go. Alright. Let's get this Trudon dead and see if we can get our stuff back. I don't know if we can. Because it's down there. There we go. Trudon's dead. All right. Hey, we can get our stuff back. All right. Good stuff. All right. Whoa. <laughs> so the first adventure out into the... Oh, that poop scared me. All right. The first adventure out into the open world was a little... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But hey, we got new uh, Parasaur saddle. All right. Let's see, let's grab that. We've got another bow. I don't need this door. Let's eat. Uh, hey, but now we've got a ton of food. So let's eat up a bunch of that. And then let's grab the stamina up like that. And I think we might want to eventually take our health up to about 200. All right, but hey, the Guano, Guano, uh, he didn't make it. So, yeah. Let's see, let's put those down there. Now let's just go finish out our... I'm dehydrated now. Lovely. 
Do I have any regular berries on me? No. Got some meat. All right. Well, let's get down here. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some water. All right, and we're back. And yeah, we're up here taking a look up here, seeing what all we can find because this spot up here, it's a really good spot. Um, I'm not sure if I eventually want to move that uh, little rudimentary shack up here. I mean, it would be a really cool spot to. Um, and I like cliffs. So, yeah, that's one of those things. I, I like building on cliffs. And that's a pretty good view of water. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get over here. And the sad thing is if we see a carno up here, we're toast. I mean, it's as simple as that. We're toast. Um, we might be able to get away, but we probably won't be able to. But I want to see if we can get up here. Can I get around? All right. Let's get up here. Up here. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Up here. And this is a cool spot, but I don't think you can build up here because there's a, a loot drop that comes down up here. And you can't build next to loot drops, which sucks. But we can come over here and we can take a look and see what we can see. A bunch of dillos down there. Pteranodon. Raptor over there. Ooh, I don't like that. Once again, your poop scared me. All right. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This whole island. This is ours. <laughs> yes, and I intend on making it ours. This is awesome. All right, so what did we do today? Well, we planted our rock carrots, and the rock carrots should be growing pretty quick. Um, I mean, it'll take them a little while. It will. Um, but, I mean, we've got... We tamed uh, a Guano the Iguanodon, and then we killed Guano the Iguanodon. Uh, we killed a couple raptors. Uh, we were chased by a couple raptors. We were killed by a Trudon. Yeah, that's a thing. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, with Trudons, you need to be very careful. If, they're, um, if you encounter them at night... Their eyes glow and they get like this really nasty... Well, they get a pack bonus regardless. But they get the pack bonus and then they come and then they'll aggro on you from just miles away. While they have the uh, the pa or the or glowy eyes. So you need to be very careful with those. Starting off the morning by coming out here in the cool, clean, crisp air. Grabbing a whole bunch of metal because I thought I saw something up here that was pretty amazing. And... Uh, it, if you watched the last episode, you know that we uh, went out and we tamed an Iguanodon. And then we killed said Iguanodon. Yeah. But there was one guy up here that I saw. Yeah, there you are. 115 male trike. That guy is pretty cool. But in order to tame him, we're going to need to do something first. Um, and uh, trike, they're actually... they're. They're better than Iguanodons in certain aspects. In other aspects, they're not as good. Um, see, Iguanodons, they run far and they run fast. Um, trikes, they don't do that. But trikes, they can take a beating. They can take one heck of a beating. And then if you have a nice high-level male trike, um, you can pretty much go quite a few places. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can go quite a few places. So, yeah. Let's get this, uh, stamina's all done. And I had a raptor attack in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, I'm sitting, I was sitting in, uh, the base AFKing, seeing if I could, uh, get some more of this going. And, oh, that, oh, hey, that one did it. All right, cool. Gotcha. All right, we got, we need to get more poop. We need to go get, uh, a super duper pooper. And yeah, see this right here, this is the same kind of stuff that we've been having to deal with. Oh, what? Who killed the dodo? Yeah? Did you kill the dodo, guys? All right, all right. Well, hey, thanks, I guess. Just finish doing what you're doing, then I'll meet you guys inside, okay? I got stuff I have to do. All right. Oh, that was a 135 dillo. Hey, cool. Don't eat him. 
Dude, you eat berries. Don't eat them. All right. So let's go like this. Come in here. And then uh, let's put this uh, uh, metal inside there. Got 56 of it. It's not too bad. All right. And then the rest of the uh, flint and stuff, we're just going to throw in here. And we're going to start crafting up as much spark powder as we can. Um, let's get those out of there and put that in there and that in there. Um, let's see. Let's get that out of there. All right. Let's get some more of this. Hey, there you go. All right. So now um, let's start putting the narcotics because I don't want to carry all these on me. We're going to put them in there. And then over here, we're going to get... Oh, we're going to go grab some spark powder from in here. Nah, yeah. Let's grab some of this. And I have to be careful not to cook all my spark powder at once. But spark powder is far more efficient in those things than, um, oh, uh, wood is. But then again, in the early levels, you kind of want to cook the wood so where you get the charcoal and stuff. But for now, we're going to make a crossbow. Because, I mean, we've already leveled up quite a bit. So now we're in the market for some uh, new toys. Ranged crossbow. Bam! Nailed it. All right. Um, so now we don't even need these bows anymore, but before I get rid of this bow, see this bow still has a trank arrow in it. I'm just going to drag this over there and see by putting that arrow in there, it gets rid of the, uh, trank, it knocks the trank arrow out of being loaded. So now they're all just regular arrows that are in there and I'm fine with losing three regular arrows. Um, we're just going to get that crossbow. We're going to stick that down there. And then also another thing I want to learn after the, uh, raptor attack, I want to learn pike. Yeah, let's learn that sucker. Yeah, okay. And then now we've got some more metal that's smelting up. But for now, we're just going to take all this stuff, put uh, trank arrows down in there. And let's go see if we can find us a nice, neat spot to put this trike. Because this trike is going to be a pain in the butt. And then let's see. Can we get up on these rocks over here? If we can get up on these rocks over here, then it really won't matter if the trike can follow us or not. Well, we can get up on this, but we can't get up on that one, huh? Can we get up? No. Let me up. All right. Now, trikes, they have um, a really good reach. What about over here? Trikes have a really good reach. So when you're trying to find some spot to... Uh, get them so you can get them knocked out um until we get into the market of a taming pen it's really kind of important that we oh, no, i don't know i should have jumped huh yeah can you jump flinger all right oh let's try this one again nailed it all right so, yeah, this right here should be pretty good for a trike. Now we just have to get that sucker lured over. All right, well, let's see. Um, how f He was ways down there. There's a stego over there as well. And I've been noticing a few raptors moving into the area because um, what they have on uh, in Ark is a thing called stasis. All right, now, um, say all that area over there that you can see... But it hasn't really loaded in. No dinosaurs have loaded in over there. They're in stasis. All right, see, that right there, that Bronto, way over there in the distance. We just took that guy out of stasis by moving into the area. Um, now, if, as long as you don't go into an area, every, everything's in stasis. Nothing moves around. But when you're in the area, it takes it out of stasis. And then I need some water. That's a food. All right. Hey, Mr. Trike, how you doing? And then it takes it out of stasis, and then they'll just wander normally. And then when you leave the area, they go back into stasis. Bam. There you go, buddy. Let's see if we can lure this guy way over here. Get a few shots in as we're going. All right. And he's going to take less torpor from us as we're giving him headshots. Because trikes, they take less uh, damage from headshots. And I was talking to a guy about uh, um, about when I tamed up Bob. They're like, you know, they take less uh, torpor They take when you hit him in uh, the shell. And I'm like, yes, I did know this. But sometimes you really have no choice. Like this right here. I mean, you just have no choice. So, yeah. And then, 
Let's get over here. All right, now I'm trying to get keep him just out of aggro range. And because as you run, they'll follow you for a little bit, and then they'll de-aggro. Now, I want to get him caught up on these rocks. So I can just shoot him. And hopefully he's stuck here. Because this would be really cool if he's stuck. If you're stuck, dude, just say you're stuck. Don't hit me with the horns. No horns. Alright? I don't like horns. You don't like horns. Nobody like horns. Well, I guess maybe you do like horns because they're your horns. I mean, if I had horns too, I'd think they were awesome. Not in the water, dude. No, 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 no. Get back here. Dude, where are you going? These crossbows have a pretty big drop-off. So, well, at a distance. Up close, they don't have that much of a drop-off. So when you're hitting these guys, you kind of... Are you down? Yes, he's down. All right. That's good stuff. Let's go see how many Mejo Berries Bob has left on him. Throw them on him. And then it's a whole bunch of AFKing for me as I wait for him to level up. And then I go guard him. But I'm going to take Bob over there. That's where Bob can help me out. And how much meat do you guys cook up while I was gone? Hey, good job, guys. All right. I like you when you guys cook up meat for me. All right. So while we're over there, and since I've been seeing a bunch of raptors, I'm going to take Bob over, and he's just going to help help me out. He's going to go hang out with me. Come on, Bob. XP's. Uh, you keep the, uh, the base uh, guarded, okay? All right. So now that we've got that, we're just going to load up some regular arrows in here because now we're on defense detail. Alright, come on. Come on, Bob. Yeah, you got this, buddy. How are your stats? Not bad. Alright. Alright. So, hey. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a while. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, see you guys then. All right, back over here at base. I crafted up me up a second crossbow so I can do the exact same thing that I had going with the original uh, bow setup. You know, one with regular arrows, one with trank arrows. So there we go. All right, and then also, um, let's see, how much metal do I have? And then I want to melee. I need more for a pike. But I let's see, let's craft this saddle really quick. So we've got that. Uh, let's put that in there, put that in there, and then that in there. Let's craft that. All right, take these spears, stick them in there, and then now we've got a pike. All right, now pike, it's a lot like a spear. It does more damage than a spear, but it doesn't break, which is kind of awesome, and, you know, it looks kind of cool, too. It's just like a big pointed piece of metal. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, so, yeah. All right, now we're going to get back over here. Um... And then let's go see how well this one's doing. It hasn't been that long. I mean, it's been okay. Enough time for me to go out and kill a few dillos and stuff like that, but not too much. All right. No, you're still doing all right. All right. Hey, Bob, I got some uh, meat for you, buddy. All right, there you go. I also got some spoiled meat and then a few narco berries. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. Good job, buddy. Good, good looking out. All right, see you guys in a bit. And we're back, and I saw something. I cannot pass this guy up. There's a Trudon over there. I hate Trudons. Trudons suck. What level are you, buddy? Level 80. Oh, come on. Stupid compies. You busted my pants. I need those. I intend on fighting evil with them. Alright, <laughs> so let's... Gather up all that hide. Alright, I want to see... Can I get this guy to run the other way? Run that way. Yes. Go. Yeah, across the water, buddy. No, 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 no. Alright. 
All right, he's de-aggroed, so that's good. All right, now he's over on this side, so we can just get out our handy-dandy bola. And that Quetzal up there has been... Uh... All right. Hey, buddy. Good night, buddy. Right in the eye. Oh, let's get this eye. Close. What about this one? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, and you're out, buddy. All right. Yeah, give me back those arrows. Thank you. All right. Uh, and let's see. So now, we've got to go get this guy some berries. All right. Let's head back over. And I'm probably just going to have to go pick up a bunch of berries by hand. But, you know, I'm going to go see. How much do you have? You might need a little narcotics, huh? Maybe. I'm going to let you ride out a little bit and then see how well you do, but... All right, let's switch back over to this one right over here. And then uh, let's get some berries over on this guy. And this guy right here, he is going to stop our need for picking up poop. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. And he's going to basically make our lives so much easier. So, so much easier. All right. Yeah, eat up, buddy. Eat up. And this guy's health goes down so fast. It's funny. All right, his food goes down so fast. He just won't stop eating until he's done. It's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. See you guys then. All right, and uh, this uh, trike's about to get up, and he hasn't needed any narcotics or anything like that. Um, I just put berries on him, let him... Uh, Sit over here, chill out. Bob's been guarding him, and yeah, I, there for a minute I thought he might need a little bit of narco berries, but he didn't need any at all. It's it's really easy, and I'm just gonna call this. Normally I call him lawnmower and stuff like that, but I'm gonna call this guy Bubba. I mean, um, normally I name uh, female trikes Bubba because I think it's funny, but I, I haven't had a Bubba in a while, so I think I'm gonna go with that. All right, so wow. All right, <laughs> it feels nice to be on a trike again. All right, let's get Bob following us. Let's go back. And I already uh, tamed up the uh, Fiomia. It's over there, but look at how many berries. I mean, I thought I had a lot of berries from the Iguanodon, but that's nothing compared to what Bubba can give us. It's awesome. I mean, look at all these berries. I mean, all the berries. Give them to me, all of them. All right. And yeah, look at that. Just a big, huge whoop right there <laughs> that's awesome oh wow all right <sighs> okay all right so now let's get over here and his inventory is already full all right he's got a level let's put him over here and i already put uh the fiomi over here which i lovingly named super duper pooper because I mean this guy right here now that we've got bubba but now here let me show you let's take uh all the stem berries that we grabbed all the stem berries and let's take all the thatch that we grabbed. Give me all the thatch. Good job, bud. All right, now we're just going to take some yellow, some blue, a little red. And, yeah, you hold on to, uh... Wow, your stats turned out all right. I mean, really good for a noob, uh... For a very beginning trike. I mean, 2,800 health, that's not bad. And then, uh, 200 uh, melee damage, not bad. You will last until we can get something better, okay, buddy? Yeah, Bubba. Just keep at it. All right, so now... All right, here, let me show you. All right, so now we take this, and then we put the stem berries, all right? And then we put regular berries. Now, he's going to eat a whole bunch of regular berries. We want to make sure his food is topped off. Now, let's give him some health, because he's going to need it. All right, watch this. All right, now let's feed him a bunch of berries, and see, by auto-feeding him the berries, it, feeds, it fills up his uh, food. But now, all right, now we're going to take... And we're going to force feed him a whole ton of stem berries. All right. Now look at all this poop we have now. It's just everywhere. And it smells bad and everything. But you know what? That's how you make fertilizer. <laughs> all right. So now we have to hurry up and pick all this stuff up. But yeah, we are in the poop market for days. Uh, let's close that back up. Come on. Give me the poop. Right, you got it everywhere, man. You got it underneath your belly. I bet it's behind your ears and everything, too, dude. Oh, man. Oh, you got it there, too? All right, all right, all right. We got this, buddy. All right, now we've got so much poop. 
Yeah, but with, when doing that, you need to be careful because by feeding him the stimberries, it, send, it just rockets his food all the way down to the bottom. And so you have to make sure that he's got plenty of food on him or else you will kill him. Uh, but yeah, he'll give us all the, all the poop we need for days. All right, let's just fill that all the way up. All right. Oh, hey, thanks. All right, let's uh, stick that in there. Fill you all the way up. That's medium, right? Yep. All right, and then let's... Uh, is that medium? Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, so now we have extra poop. I didn't think that was something we would uh, encounter for a while. Extra poop. That is a huge find, finding the Fiomia. Super duper pooper. Dude, welcome aboard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get Bob out of the way. Come on. All right. Uh, let's get Bob unfollowing. Let's get Bubba over here. I'm going to get see how much spoiled meat we have. Get some narcotics made. We're going to get ready for a long field trip. Uh, because I think we're going to go for a field trip, Bubba. What do you think? Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I like that flinger. All right, so that's how Bubba talks, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. And um, I've been taking quite a bit of time to just AFK around the base. Um, yeah, it's uh, been quite a bit. You know, got up, made me some lunch, another cup of coffee, stuff like that, you know. And then uh, this stuff right here, uh, it's already in the middling stage. So, you know, we're, we're moving on, which is awesome. Got a whole bunch of... Uh, um, Oh, uh, fertilizer in there, plus also over here I've got a whole bunch of fertilizer as well already made, plus uh, this thing over here is already made up, and yeah, things are coming along quite nicely, I mean quite nicely, but now that we've got all this stuff done, I'm gonna take Bubba out for a ride, and yeah, so yeah, she's got a level, or he's got a level, I'm used to Bubba being a girl, so I might be a little uh, off here, oh hey, cool, you can equip crossbows and right hey that's cool yeah see on a lot of these dinos uh the smaller ones you can equip a uh, weapon while you're riding them which makes it so easy to tame some things i mean it's really cool um like uh saber tooths uh thylacolio um wolves stuff like that it and it makes it really easy to go out and just let them face tank whatever you're taming and then um trank it down right and you know while you're Dino's taking the brunt of everything. It's really cool. Oh, hey, I'll take those. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And hey, what do we got here? All right. <laughs> We've got jer or apprentice cloth pants. All right. Hey, we're moving up in the world. So, hey, you know, if you wanted to fight evil today, all right, we've got the perfect blue pants. So, we've got the perfect pants for fighting evil today. Today only. Because tomorrow, we will have outgrown cloth pants. <laughs> but we're still wearing them, so hey, that's a thing. All right, but yeah, I'm going to take uh, Bubba out here, and we're going to go on an adventure up here. And I want to see how much stuff do you have on you, Bubba. You've got nothing. All right, let me get you some food. Sorry, girl. There you go. Eat up. Ooh, that was a bunch of seeds. More rock carrots and everything. That's kind of cool. All right, but yeah, um... We're going to come up here, and I saw a... Let me get a little bit more. There we go. I saw a foo up here. And when I say foo, I mean I found a uh, Mesopithecus up here. And I would love to tame a Mesopithecus. That would be really, really cool. Now, the problem with trikes is while they can take a beating, and while they can actually, you know, they have this really awesome knockback attack, that uh, when things start running up, you can just, you know, smack them right there, and you can knock them back. And then, you know, you can uh, tank things that way. It's really cool, but they don't have crap for stamina. <laughs> it's one of those things. They just don't have a very good stamina. All right, so over here is where I saw that food. But this is where all the bad stuff went down the other day. So I'm not sure we're going to find anything over there. But you know what? Let's go over here. Oh, hey, there's a raptor. Hey, Mr. Raptor. How are you doing, jerk? Ah. Uh. All right, all right. Another raptor over here. Some dillos. And it's kind of important that you don't aggro Dimorphodons. I'm going to get spit on here in a sec. See, look at that knockback right there. It makes everything so much easier when fighting everything. 
Because if you can get the first hit on them and push them way back, then there's really not much they can do. Come on, Bubba. You got this. Yeah, this is no problem here. This is going to be a bunch of kiting and hide for me here. It's good stuff. I was hoping to get over there and get that blue drop really quick, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Not in time. That guy's dead. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. All right, let's get this stuff. Let's harvest up our booty. And every once in a while, off of uh, Dillo's, you can get uh, the glasses from the guy in Jurassic Park, which is pretty cool. It's just it's just a hat skin that uh, makes it look like you're wearing glasses. It's really cool. All right, let's go like this. Uh, gain one level. We'll put it in melee damage for now. And uh, let's see. Let's go a little bit more health. All right. There's a true dawn. All right, and I want to work my way over to the front, too. See if we can get over there, find something cool. These Trudons, they're just everywhere. The raptor. A couple raptors. And an XP buff. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, whoa. Alright, we'll just stand still so we can actually get a little bit of, uh... Just stop pooping, alright? We're in the middle of a fight. Can't you hold it? Come on. I'm trying to get this blue drop. Take that. Hey! That was a saddle, a Carboenema saddle blueprint, and then a Stego saddle blueprint. That's pretty cool. So now we could go get a Stego or a Carboenema. Or we can put a saddle on Bob if we wanted to. Come on, dude. Just die. There you go. Uh, you gonna cooperate too? Alright, come on. The other guy, he was really cooperating. He just dropped dead for me. There you are. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. All right, now let me go get my booty. Oh, what do you got? Once in a while, you can find uh, metal pikes and stuff on these raptors. It's really cool. All right. And uh, I don't have all this stuff to make bolas. Let's see, let's make some bolas. Uh, thatch stone fiber. All right. Because I think we might be knocking us out of Pteranodon here soon. What level are you, buddy? 45. That's not bad. Stone... There's a whole bunch of stones down here. Let's grab these. This is the beauty part about the beach. There's just so many stones everywhere. All right. Bola. How many can we make? Two. All right. Well, that'll work. 
Alright, we already have them down on our hot bars, at least we should. Yeah, six. Alright. Let's see if we can get this guy knocked out. Alright. Hey, buddy. Later, buddy. Alright, so yeah. I'm gonna see, uh, let's see. How much narcotics did I bring? I brought 25. That should be enough for this guy. Plus, I also have Bubba with me. So, I mean, Bubba can gather up a whole ton of narco berries on the fly. And this guy right here, he's a little bit kind of a tricky tame. I mean, he's not that much of a tricky tame because their their torpor just goes down fast. That's really the only thing about Pteranodons. And uh, I'm going to try to see how much prime meat I can get over here on the beach with Taming Buddy. And so where we can maybe uh, prime meat tame this guy. Let's see, there's a dodo. There's two prime meat. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You just gonna spin around me? Here, how about I offset you? Dude! Come on, taming buddy. There you go. Alright, where's another dodo? I saw a bunch of them around here. Where'd they go? Oh, there's a raptor. Alright, well, I'm going to stick prime meat on him with one stack. And then as he needs it, or as I can get it, I'm going to stick as much uh, prime meat on him as I can. But yeah, I'm going to uh, see you guys in a bit. Because that's the game plan. I'm going to see just how many I can get on this guy. Right, while I go over and kill this raptor. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. See you then. Oh, I missed it. I was out running over that way, and I came back, and eh, I missed the tame. I was only able to get two pieces of prime meat on it, so, yeah. All right, and the stats on these guys, um, on low-level pteranodons, I mean, this guy, this girl, is uh, 67. Um, so, she's basically just going to be chilling at the base for a long time, passively leveling. Um, we're going to try to get the XP buff on her as much as possible. But yeah, um, see this stamina stat, 195, if we were to put a saddle on her and start flying around, she wouldn't be able to fly hardly, I mean, we'd be able to fly probably over to that little area over there and then she'd have to stop. Yeah, it's not very far. Oh, wow, we have a Diplo up there. Alright, um, but yeah, so now we're gonna just be passively leveling her. And then hopefully we can get this up to around 500s where we can start going a little bit further. I mean, she's never going to be that great. But if we need to get an aerial view of something, she'll be fine. Other than that, not so good. Um, but yeah, we're going to pretty much be sticking to the ground for the most part on this series. Um, until we can get a really nice Argent or something. Maybe a Quetzal eventually. But yeah, um, until then... This girl right here, and you know what, we're just gonna, oh, well, I'll wait till we get to base before I name her, because we still haven't gotten to base, and I'm just gonna put her on passive. Alright, come on, girl. Yeah. See, when you're not on her, she flies really well. This guy's gonna come attack XPs. Yeah, get him, super duper pooper. Bob, why aren't you moving? Bob, aren't you supposed to be helping? Alright. Come on, dude. There you go. There you go. XP, stop running off. All right. So, oh, a raptor came over. Hey, that's why you're moving, Bob, or why you're not moving. All right, all right. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. And from just all that uh, little trip that we uh, took, I ended up getting uh, almost 200 hide, 178 hide. That, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So what did we do this episode? Well, we've got uh, Super Duper Pooper. We got uh, Bubba. And then we got our Pteranodon, which I am going to go name right now. I think I'm going to name you First Flyer. All right, let's see. First Flyer. So there's never any debate on who is the crappiest flyer. It's it's you, dude. You nailed it. All right, and every single thing, every single time we level him up, it's going to go into stamina. He only gets seven points per. So we're going to put XPs over by him. We're going to uh, get them passively leveling up, and I need to put you back over there, and I need to put Bob back over there, and I need to reorganize the base. And eventually, here pretty soon, we're going to be moving. 
that's one of those things. We are going to be moving. We're going to be moving to a much um, more dangerous spot. But I think I'm going to be waiting on a couple factors. Uh, a faster dino that can actually take a beating. And... That's really about it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this guy knocked out of the air because he is a pretty good one. I saw him over there on the beach and I followed him over here. But you know what? Let's... Come on, dude. Just get over here, buddy. All right? I got a bola. I need to hit you with it. Come on, dude. All right. And... I got him. All right. That's good stuff. All right. Let's see if we can get him knocked out. And then, uh, yeah, I don't want to kill him. But um, I'm just going to hammer him with uh, crossbow bolts until he falls unconscious. There we go. All right. So he's out. All right. And uh, he's a 140. And, I mean, uh, because Taming Buddy, he wasn't a very high level one. But this guy right here, he, he will be a much better tame if we can get him tamed up. And I'm not even sure I can get him tamed up. I don't, I'm not sure I have enough narcotics. But, I mean, if we can get him uh, tamed up, that would be amazing. And we've got some pretty cool stuff um, in store for today. Um, I think I'm going to probably AFK around the base a little bit because we've got those crops that need to get grown. And... I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I think Bubba and I, we're gonna head out on an adventure today over across the way, over by the Beacon Way over there, but, oh, there's a fish, alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna get this guy tamed up, get him, buddy, and I will, uh, see you guys in a bit, get over here, buddy, give me the fish, come on, come on, give me the fish, give me the fish, we got, we got lots of stuff to do, get over here, buddy, alright, see you guys in a bit. All right, coming back up here. I, I brought Bubba over uh, just to help me out with a little bit of uh, berries. And, I mean, it, it's really proved to be uh, quite advantageous. And um, Taming Buddy, I mean, one Taming Buddy, this guy right here is amazing. The second Taming Buddy is just going to be phenomenal. It's amazing. I love these guys. They're so cool. <laughs> Oh man, now we need to go get, we need to go find us an Equus is what we need. We need to have our Rock Carrots hurry up. And um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm probably going to just AFK for a while here soon. See if we can get some uh, Rock Carrots up and going. And let's go take a look over here at the situation. Let's see, let's get, uh, you brought up, uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, since, uh, yeah, let's go like this, uh, stamina, he's only up to 226 already, um, oh, it's just a female, hey, you can give us eggs, alright, I'll take Tyranid on eggs, alright, and this guy's gonna get up here pretty soon, it's the middle of the night, I've been taming this guy all the way through the night, and his stats, his pre tame stats are already better than, um, Taming Buddy, here, let me show you, alright, uh, Taming Buddy, Taming Buddy's really good, and he's, uh, I mean, he's really helped us out. Um, let's see, uh, he's got 174 melee damage, 302, uh, health. And those are the important stats on this guy. This guy right here, he's got 620 health. He's already double, and he's got 180. So even though I've been leveling up this guy's, uh, oh, melee damage, this guy right here, already better. And, uh, I'm gonna call this guy, um, let's see, uh, well, we already have a taming buddy. Well, let's go Taming Buddy too. There we go. All right, and let's take a look at your stats. All right, let's make sure you're not following me. 201. Wow, you tamed up really well. Uh, 940 uh, health, 270 melee damage. Oh, yes, you're going to be getting us some good fish, buddy. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's get you. Uh, I'm going to get Bubba. Taming Buddy, chill out right there. I'll be right back for you, buddy. All right, so we're about to head out. I think I've got... 24 carrots or something like that. It's not many. Um, but yeah, I think before we go, we're going to uh, learn some new armor. Because I think we're ready to step up. I mean, and we're a little past due. So let's go like that. Get some hide armor going. Let's see. Uh, crafting. Let's get one that, one that, one that, one that, one that. And then as that crafts up, let's see. Let's just stick that one on there. All right. There we go. All right. And let's get this one there it's not updating the picture it's kind of funny i wanted an updated picture why aren't you updating my picture <laughs> there we go all right let's see now we're updated all right that's cool all right so now we've got a flinger with a beard 
a big beard. We're Grizzly Adams in it right now. All right, so yeah, we're gonna head out over here, and then um, yeah, I'm not gonna have you got. I'm not gonna record the entire as we get over there, but I think we're gonna go over to the other side of over there. And let me see. Let me make sure I brought everything. Um, oh, well, you don't need the stone. We'll just throw that out. We've got some stem berries. We got some rock carrots. We got some uh, other berries just in case. Uh, let's put this on you. All right, and then uh, we got some carrots. So we've got that going on for us. All right, so let's get over here and let's see what we can see, all right? And, oh, we tron it on way up there. All right, all right, I, I have to make sure to not be, uh, you know, swayed by the many pieces of candy that are gonna jump out at me on this trip because this is, this is a brand new playthrough and I'm going out in the world for the very first time off the island that we've uh, kind of been uh, stranded on for a while. But, I mean, this island is so cool but I'm anxious to get off the other side and go over there and see what we can see. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, Bubba. We're about to uh, cross this river, all right? We, not, we might not be coming back. I might be respawning. All right, Taming Buddy 2, are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's see, let's make sure there's no piranha out here. Come on, Bubba. You got this, girl. You got this, boy. I swear, I'm going to eventually learn that you are a boy. Either that or I'm going to rename you Lawnmower. One of the two. Alright. And as we get up here, because we're going to go up here in these trees. I want to go see what all we can find. You with me? Alright. Come on, buddy. Is that? Are you a Microraptor? No, you're Nick the Ornus. All right. Microraptors are a big pain in the butt. I mean, big pain in the butt. And up here, I have to be careful because there's a lot of Carnos and stuff up here. So right now, I'm just on foot. And you know what? Let's put you on low. All right. Because I want you close to me. I don't want to have to run back and find you if something comes out and decides it wants to eat my... There's a Therizinosaurus. These guys are pretty tough. Um, level 10, they can actually um, knock you off the back of your dinosaur if they hit you right. And then they have a Torpor attack. It can knock you out. And then they just do a ton of damage. They're like, um, oh, the vegan T-Rex. They don't eat meat, but they sure hit like they do. Alright. Let's come up here. See what we can see. And I've had a lot of good luck up here finding uh, Equus and other stuff up here. I mean, I hope we can find one. I'm not going to bet on being able to find one, but that'd be kind of cool. What level are you? 40. All right. You all right, Bubba? All right. Bunch of raptors over there. Let's go this way. And the reason why I, I'm only kind of hopping on Bubba every once in a while through here is because through these trees, it, it's kind of hard to see. So when recording and going over here, see, I mean, look at this. Yeah. That's a good recording. Yeah, let me tell you. So, yeah. We'll just be walking for the most part. Some packies right there. Packies aren't that bad on the low levels. Um, they're not going to aggro us. You can see, look at this. They won't aggro us, but they're actually pretty good. They have a, like a torpor charge attack, which is kind of neat. Um, where are you running from, buddy? Huh. All right. Come on, Bubba. You got this? How are you, buddy? Oh, Mo Shops. With leech blood. All right. Okay. All right. Heading up here. All right. Let's see what we've got up here. I've got a Diplodocus following me. I killed a raptor that... Uh, was attacking it, 
But now apparently it's aggro on me and it just keeps wanting to come up and give me this little love nudge. See, they won't they won't hit you. See, look at this. They won't actually hurt you unless if, you know, you're on a carnivore trying to eat them. See, no damage. They just push you back. It's just a little love tap. It's like, hey, buddy, how you doing? Remember me? Yeah, let's play. Yeah, and that's really all it is. They're not going to hurt you. And they'll just love tap you and push you all around. All right, so what do we got down there? Another Therizinosaurus. Level are you? Level 45, mate boosted. Stop it, dude. There's a Carno down here. What level are you? 125, that's not bad. Um, I'm not big into Carnos, but a 125 is pretty good. Especially at this low level. It also, uh, start a world of hurt on us. Or open up a world of hurt on us. Alright. Yeah, good job, Diplo. Keep going. Alright, so let's get over here. Alright, it's early morning, and there's a Carno right over here. So we're gonna go see if we can take this guy out. Alright, let's keep you. Give me a knockback, dude. I'm on. You got this, Bubba. You got this. Hey. Hey, Mr. Trike, that was ours. That's okay. I won't be too mad at you. Alright. <laughs> that was cool, though. The little Trike came and uh, helped us. Uh, that's not bad. Alright, coming up here. Now I've just been cruising out over here through the woods. Through the night. Trying to see if I can see anything. And I haven't seen too much. But... That's how this area over here works. I mean, there's so many trees that... Um, cool dinosaurs can get uh, hidden in it. True done right here. Later, dude. Come on. Trudons, you have to worry about. Yeah, they're buddies, right? There's their buddy. Alright, you still alive? You come back up and try to get some? Huh? What level are you? You must be really high level. Alright. Let's see what we got. You're doing great, Bubba. Keep it up. Oh, hey, Trink Arrows. I'll take those. Thanks. Alright, see what we got up here. Oh, hey, an Equus. Hey, cool. You're just chilling out. I don't want that. I want that. <gasps> Holy crap, 130. Alright, let's see. Can we do this? Um, Bubba, give me the carrots. Let's put them down there. Where'd you go, Mr. Equus? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Let's put you on lowest. There you are. Where are you going? Yes, all right, let's see. Can we get you stuck? On Bubba. All right, come on. Now, Taming and Equus, they're a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, because they'll run all over the place. So the easiest way to tame them is put whatever dino you're with on follow on the lowest. Yeah, all right. And then they'll come up and try to push you against the thing. Which is kind of cool. Here, watch this. See, I'm getting stuck on Bubba here really quick. And it, it's really good. But you have to put the 
taming food down in the zero slot and then down in the bottom left you see where it says effectiveness 100 percent and then taming 31 percent and then right there it says use taming food and um, before you get bucked off you have to quickly use um the um, press the use key not the zero key the use key and then you can uh get you get the taming effectiveness that way. If you do it wrong, if you press the button, any other button, when it says that, it'll buck you off and you'll lose taming effectiveness. And it takes a lot of practice to get this. And I, I've, I've, yeah, it's taken me a long time to get <laughs> the practice for this. Um, the best thing I can do, say, is find lower level ones. And I'm surprised that this right here, I'm finding such a high level one to begin with because this is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to take a look around because normally you find these guys in groups of, uh, two or three around the island, sometimes even up to four. And usually the packs will get spread around. And I was through here. I was, went through here earlier and I didn't see any Equus, but obviously it took these guys out of stasis and then it bounced them around. But because they'll get attacked by stuff, they'll go running off. And then they'll just scatter, which kind of sucks, but it worked out well for us this time. But it also means that there's somewhere around here in these woods, there's a couple more Equus, and I might want to find them. But this is really, really cool. All right, let's see if we can get this last couple ones. But if you can't get... Um, pinned like I am right now between Bubba and this tree then these guys they'll run all over and you'll get aggro off everything and then they'll get hit and lose their taming um taming percentage you have to start all over a couple times and I don't have many carrots so this is proving to be quite fortuitous indeed which is just awesome and amazing all right let's see if we can get this last couple should be two tames, or two of them. Come on, buddy. Come on. You want to eat it? Come on. Eat the carrot. The carrot's awesome. The carrot's amazing. It's just a carrot. It's fresh, I swear. I mean, Boba was carrying around in his armpit a little bit, but it's okay. All right, there we go. 90%. All right, we got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. It's a carrot. You want the carrot, don't you? Mmm, juicy carrot. With a little bit of bubba juice on it. 99%, of course. Last one, it didn't give, want to give me 10%, so... Gotta go with one more. But then we'll get 100% effectiveness. Yes! There we go! Alright, we've got an Equus. Alright, um... What are we gonna name this dude? Well, what is it? Is it a dude or a, a not a dude? All right, let's see. Let's get over here. Let's see. All right, so we've got... Bub, bub. Thanks. All right, are you... What are you? You're female! Hey! A female, 194 Equus. Oh, all right, we're going to have to come up with a really awesome name for you. Because on Scorched Earth, I was playing through there, and I named him Butt Spud. But a Butt Spud isn't going to go for a female Equus. That's not a female Equus name. I don't care what you say, Bubba. No, that's not a female Equus name. All right, so we're going to have to come up with something really awesome for this Equus. But yeah, we're going to head back to bait. But on the way, I think I might want to take a look, see where there's a, more Equus. Because we found this one. It was up here, just right on the top edge of that, which means that the other Equus could be... Oh, where are you? You could be anywhere around here. Are you like the... The lone survivor of your your herd? I don't know. All right, well, let's, let's get down here. All right, now, um, these Equus, uh, combined with the Ichthyornis, are two of the best taming dinos, the pairings, that I know of. Because they are like the ultimate... Trudon, you're not going to aggro, right? Just speed up ahead. All right. Um, they're two of the best 
taming dinos that you can get if you pair them up. Because the Equus, the right click attack, that, the little back kick, is heavy, heavy torpor attack. Um, but, uh, oh, and then the front attack, that right there, it's just really just good for gathering berries. It doesn't do that much damage. The back kick does a whole ton of torpor, which is huge. You can knock out dinos with it. And it does it pretty quickly, too. Um, and then combine that with the Ichthyornis. With the Ichthyornis, you can go out and you can get prime meat off just about anything. So combine the two, and you can tame just about anything. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. And then also, if you're taming an herbivore, um, you can uh, use the front attack on the, uh, on the Equus to get berries. I'm not seeing any more Equus. You know, I'm kind of looking. Maybe I'll just run back through the woods later with just uh, the Equus to see if we can find any more. Because if there's one, there's more. That's the way the Equus work. If there's one, there's more. Even if they get split up. But sometimes they'll get attacked by raptors. And, well, all the time they'll get attacked by raptors. And dillos and stuff like that. So they, if they get pinned against a rock or something, they, they will die. And they'll die quick. Ah, oh, but this is such an awesome find. All right, well, I'm going to get back to base. I'm going to get Bubba put back, and I will see you guys in a bit. But this is awesome. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, back at base. Let's get you parked up over here, I think. Yeah, right there. All right, now let's take a look at your stats. Not that good. Stamina is amazing. That's really, really good stamina. Melee damage, 314. That's okay. 1467 health. Really sucks. Really, really sucks. I need to go find more of you. Yes, I do. Definitely need to go find more of you. Okay? Because your health is not good. I don't care what Bubba says. Your health is not good. Yeah. All right. You should be embarrassed. You should be. All right, I'm embarrassed for you. We need to go find more of you and breed you because the rest of your stats are awesome. Your health is not. All right, so yeah. Oh, hey, egg. All right, so now that we've got, we, we went out, we got an Equus, and now we're going to, well, let's put the carrots on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the carrots on Bob. You can't have them. All right, you can't have them. Sorry, Bubba. I'm gonna put them on Bob. The important stuff goes on Bob. All right, you get narco berries and other stuff, Bubba, but, you know, he gets, you know, eggs and carrots, all right? All right, so now let's uh, see what level does it take to make the Equus saddle. 20. That's really good. I don't know why it's level 20 if uh, it takes carrots. I mean, I've tried measure berry taming these guys. It is not easy. Not easy whatsoever. All right, so um, let's see. Do we have to make it in here? No. All right, so crafting. Hold on. Let's see, let's, uh... Whoops. You... No, no, no. Hold a few show engrams. Yes, thank you. Saddles, there we go. All right, we need hide. Lots of hide. Okay, so let's put that in there. What else do we need? Um, Fiber. We need fiber. Okay, we've got fiber. All right, what else do we need? Uh, wood. We don't have enough wood. What else do we need? Metal. We've got metal. It's in the... right here. A hundred metal. There we go. Um, so let's go see if we can grab some more hide. Do you have any hide? Does any of you have any hide on you? Bubba, do you have any hide? Um... Let's see. I mean, what does it take to make hide? It takes a little bit of hide to make some more hide. So, let's go like this. Because I see. I spy with my little eye. 
Where'd you go, Parasaur? Oh, there you are. I spy with my little eye a Parasaur. And what is one of the best things, ways of getting hide? A Parasaur. Hey, dude. Sorry. Need your hide. Give it up. Do it now. Thank you. Goodbye, dude. That's not enough. Come here. Give it up. All right. I need more. All right. I'm like just a big hide addict here. I need more. Just give me more. Yeah. Give it up. All right. Is that enough? Probably, but I'm on a roll. All right. Come here, buddy. Later, dude. All right, let's get from you. All right, so now that we've got all the hide that we need, now we need some wood. Let's go grab that stuff. That shouldn't take too long. <laughs> all right, got wood coming over here. And then I'll have to show you something really cool with these Equa Saddles. Um, let's see, there, 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 uh, saddle, Equus, there we go, all right, come on, give it up, right here, no, no, you're taking forever, all right, there we go, all right, thank you, all right, coming out here, all right, now these guys, they're saddle, it's like a mortar and pestle, here, let me show you, all right, see, now we can actually, we can craft, um, narcotics, in their inventory, and then also we can craft spark powder and lassos. Lassos are really cool. Here, let me show you. You can, uh, you know, let's grab some fiber and thatch, and let me craft up a few uh, lassos and show you just how cool these things are. Let's see that. Did I use all my fiber? I have more fiber over here. I know I do. There we go. All right. So now we can take this, uh, stick this in there. One, two, three. And lassos, they weigh a lot. Three pounds each. That's quite a bit. All right, so now, let's go like this. All right, let's uh, load up this. Hold on, let's come over here. Let's find something we can lasso. All right, this guy right here. All right, you want to be a guinea pig, right? All right, let's just... Oh, what? There we go. All right, so now, we can just drag this guy all over. All right, let's see. Can I K-mode? There we go. See, yeah, we can just drag this guy all over. And then we can run all around... Yeah, <laughs> we can just drag him and put him wherever we want, which is pretty cool. And I'll let him go here in a minute. There you go. All right. All right. Today, uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I've already been about and picking up some. Let's see. How's your fertilizer doing? You need more. All right. Give me more. I got 11 more. Uh, oh, gee. Ah, always regret coming in here. Always. All right. <laughs> let's see. Um, got fertilizer there. Coming over here. I got. Uh, let's see. I uh, got some more over here, right? No. More over here, right? Yes. Nailed it. All right. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get that. And then um, let's see. Let's. Uh, wait. I, I already have one poop. So and you got a double stacker. That's talent, buddy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to. Uh, uh, I got a lot of stuff to do today. We're uh, heading out kind of early. I'm making sure, you know, I woke up early, going out on the, you know, the early morning fishing trip, and so uh, yeah. Let's see, wrong button, that button. Thank you. I need the point? No, no, I needed the pointer for a reason. All right, fine. I will duck down right below your butt, so where I can pick up the poop that you just shot out of your butt. All right. All right, it's not weird at all, I swear. Oh, you got, dude, you're like flinging the poop everywhere. All right, good job, buddy. That takes talent. All right, oh, there's more right here. All right, let's see, let's get that. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I've just been uh, working around, you know, the little base, getting everything going this morning because today, I think today we're gonna go out on a little Equus adventure. Today, we're gonna go out and we're gonna brave the wild and we're gonna go, wait. We're gonna go see what we can see out in the wild with our Equus, which I, whoa, dude. Whoa, not cool, man. All right, <laughs> this is 
stupid plants. I just cannot. All right, so before we head out, we're going to get on our trusty handy dandy pocket, you know, Swiss Army Equus, and we're going to go get a, a whole bunch of berries. And I've got a bunch of meat in my inventory spoiling. And um, one thing I wanted to uh, mention is uh, in the comments um, a few episodes ago, somebody mentioned, hey, you know, Flinger, the, with the new UI, you can un um, you can unstack all of your stacks in one button. And you know what? I, I was like, you know, I, I didn't realize that you could do that, but you know, I was dedicated to find out, you know, how to do that. And I, it's it's really simple. It's really cool. See, you have it like this, and you just go um, split stack, and then split all, and it splits every single one of them. It's really, really cool. All right. Um, but now that we've got this, uh, let's see. I uh, was waiting on that right there. It's 57 seconds. All right. Let's uh, get you some more help because you're gonna need it. All right. And we're back. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah. Um, I, Flinger, am about to head out on an auspicious journey, and we're about to go get our butt kicked, and I still haven't named you, so I'm just gonna name you Butt Spud. I mean, I realize I said I didn't want to name him Butt Spud, but you know what? I named him Butt Spud. Because, I mean, Butt Spud, it just goes so well for horses. It, it's got that ring. Just that really awesome ring. What level are you? Alright, where's, uh, six? What level are you? Not cool. Alright. So, hey, we're going to head out. That would have been a short adventure, you know, headed right over the hill and then find the Pteranodon and be like, hey, you know what? Let's tame this Pteranodon. Bam! Episode. That wouldn't have been very exciting. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but we're going to head over here, and I, I think I want to head this way. That way. Because... Um, in previous seasons, I've built bases, let's see, I've built a base over there, and over there, and then on the subscriber server, I've got a base over there, and that's a Quetzal, and then, uh, over there, I think, I want to go way over there, by, way over there, like, I mean, like, shoot it way up there, bam, way up there, and then down over there, and then see, yeah, somewhere over there. I, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. All right? But I think that is a good area for us to at least head out. And then, let's see. Can I get some uh, free XP from a Mr. Dodo? <laughs> it's so fun. Hey, there's some XP, buddy. All right, um, let's get some water real quick. And I want you on... Oh, Sorry, I wanted you on passive. All right, let's get some water. And I need to ride you, all right. And every once in a while, there'll be a Sarko right over here, so I want to keep my eye out for him. And also, once in a while, though, will be a Baryonyx. I want to keep my eye out for that as well. All right, so let's get over here. And, you know, I'm really, really enjoying this new series. Um... I mean, just the beginning of the game. I love the beginning of the game where you're just, where you're not, I mean, I love the ending of the game too, you know, the end game and whatnot. But the beginning is just so much fun as you're getting started and, I mean, everything, it, it's, it's such a struggle. And I realized that in this series, we started out, level are you, buddy? 50. No, well, yeah, that's fine. All right, um, in, in this series, we started out on, like, the easiest spot. But there's a reason for that, you know. I wanted to uh, give new players that have been struggling with the game, you know, when they come and they search for, hey, let, let me see if I can find some uh, starting out tips on uh, Ark that they know. Bam! There's the spot to uh, um, spawn if you're having a lot of trouble. And so that's kind of the way uh, I wanted this to go. And, but now that we've got our start set up and we've got... Oh, what? You just come right out of there, huh? All right. So, um... Hey! Dude, get off! You stole my mezzos, man! Dude! Get off me! Got a whole bunch of ichthyars <laughs> chasing after me. Trying to see if they can get my mezzo berries. Not cool, dudes. Not cool. All right. Um... 
but yeah, I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, new players had, you know, they had uh, information about where is one of the best spots to start. But now that we've done that, now that we've accomplished that, now that we've got a nice start out up and going, I want to head out and get a little bit more advanced base. And I'm not sure if I want to jump right into the deep end right away. Because, I mean, if you really jump into the deep end right away, you're really jumping into the deep end right away. And you're ill-prepared for it. So I want to... Uh, ooh, there's a raptor. I wonder if we can knock out a stupid raptor. And there's an iguanodon. Hey, I've killed a bunch of you guys. Or one of you guys. Hey, you're a hundred. That's not bad. All right. Hey, Mr. Raptor. Let's see. Can we knock this guy out? Can we knock out a compy? Compy's out. What level are you, Mr. Raptor? Only 35. Compies are out. Hey, Mr. Dodos. Alright. There's some beavers here. What level are you, beavers? Let's see. Let's put that up there. Uh, split stack all. And put one of these down there. In just in case for me to peg mastax. And also, there's these little dudes on the island called peg mastax And they're little thieves and they suck. And they're little dudes that'll pop out of the woodwork. And they'll come over and then uh, they'll uh, aggro on you. And steal your stuff. So pay very close attention to those. What level are you? Level 50. Alright, what level are you, dude? 115! Hey, that's a pretty good Casteroids. Huh, let's get this guy dead. I mean, if we could get a Bob the Builder Beaver really quick, then... We could have a Bob the Builder Beaver really quick. And we could use him for all of our base building needs. And it would be awesome and everybody would have a fun time. Oh, but he's hitting me. And pushing me away. Come on, dude. Come on. Missed you, huh? You the level 50, dude? Way over there on the edge? You are. Huh. I don't know if I want to swim over there and get you. But, what's the easiest way to get Casteroids to come to you? They'll be here in a sec. Come on. Let's get over here. Come on, buddy. Let's get over here a little bit. Get some stamina back just by sitting still. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. That guy's knocked out in the water. So I guess we didn't want a level 50, dude. All right, and Castoroides, our beavers, uh, they're a pain in the butt because um, they, their torpor goes down really fast. And I'm not sure I have enough. I'm not sure I have enough uh, narcotics for them. So, all right. Well, I'm going to be over here trying to see if I can get this guy tamed. If I can get him tamed, that'll be cool. If not, oh well. 
Uh, so, yeah, I'm really not going to put too much stock into it. But, uh, you know, if I can, that would be awesome. If I can't, not going to sweat it. Let's craft all 41 of those. Put some more health in you, buddy. Good job, dude. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to be here for a little bit, and I'll see you guys in a while. All right. Well, I just, I've, I've come to the realization I just don't have the uh, narcotics for this guy. His torpor is going down way too fast, and I can't even spoil meat fast enough. So as that's going, I just went out and I hunted a bunch of fish, stuff like that. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff like that going in the background. So if we see another one, we can eventually do it. But you know what? I, I want to go out and I want to see if I can tame some more stuff. Or at least, uh, you know, see where we can go. Because this would be really awesome um, going out and seeing where what we can find. All right, let's uh, clear out some inventory because we're already starting to get kind of encumbered. Whoa, dude, and... What did I say about uh, Pego Mastax? Yeah, that's it. Give me the stuff back, dude. Yeah, thanks, jerk. All right, you know what? Uh, let's just stick some measure berries down there. And then also, if you want to avoid Pego Mastax um, stealing your stuff, just put something down in your zero slot. And then if you put down measure berries, um, it tames them. Uh, a lot of times, if they're really low level and then they come and uh, try to steal and then they steal a stack of 100 measure berries, you can insta tame them. So, yeah. Um, I really don't want one. I just don't like them. So, I'm trying to avoid them. All right, back over here on this side of the thing. I was uh, just coming back to take a look. Uh, as the meat gets ready to spoil, I wasn't sure if I wanted to come back and go tame up that uh, beaver. Because that beaver, it's a 115 beaver. It's really nice. I just don't have all the stuff for it. And I've killed a whole bunch of stuff. I've got a ton of meat spoiling here. So, yeah. But I figured I'd bring you back because there's a spino up here. It's kind of cool. All right. Um... Let's see, um, I killed these guys earlier. Alright, let's get this stuff. Spoiling. Alright, let's see. Uh, split stack. Oh, there we go. And then... Yeah, that's a great tip. See, even I learn new things every day. That's awesome. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can, uh, waste this guy. Where you going, dude? Oh, Mr. Dillo. Not cool. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, of course. Alright, alright. Not cool. Alright, let's see. He's running. Ouch. I hate that spit attack. Alright, come on. I, I just want to kill you, dude. Get back here. Come on, dude. Remember me? Come on, buddy. Where are you taking off? <laughs> Oh, you see that? Mad Jukes. Mad, mad Jukes! Alright, alright. There's a Baryonyx right there. Alright, you will, uh... You win this round, Spino. Don't worry. I'll be back. I have to come back to my base. Alright, coming up over here. Back inside of here, just right on the other side of that. There's a little pathway. Like a little, uh... Here's a raptor. Uh, just like a little valley kind of thing. Just a crevice. And you go inside of there. There you go. Alright, and... Uh, 
Yeah, it's right down in on the inside of here. You have to keep an eye out for raptors and carnos and stuff like that because they will come in from the sides and they'll fall in. But uh, if you keep an eye out for that, you should be good. Right here is the gate, the uh, cave entrance. And then on the inside of this cave, here, let me get some, uh, let me get a torch out. All right. On the inside of this cave, it's pretty open. Um, a while back, it used to be really uh, narrow, but they opened it wide up, which is really cool. I really dig it. And here, let me show you where we're at on the map. Right there on the map, down where it says me. <clears throat> yeah, that's right where we're at. All right, so let's come down here. And we don't want to go too far in at all. Uh, if we go too far in, it's kind of a, a death sentence at this level. But we're going in just far enough to see if we can find a turtle. Hey, we found it. There's a turtle. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, we need to keep a close eye out for our... And then it just popped right in. Turtle. All right. Sm magical uh, teleporting turtles. It's Harry Potter. Hey, Mr. Turtle, you're a wizard. All right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, but yeah, let's, um, down here, you go all the way, you kind of wind your way down until there's an intersection. One that goes to the left and one that goes to the right. And we don't want to go too much further than that. Um, we could go down to the left a little bit. Maybe to the right. Oh, I want to get that poop. Oh, not that poop. I need a bigger poop. All right. All right. See, right around here, this is the intersection. And we don't want to go too much further because bad things can happen when you go too much further. See, right here, bunch of spiders. So yeah, let's get over here. Scorpion there. Come on, Mr. Scorpion. All right, that guy's out. Oh, great. He webbed me, even though I was going full speed. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you mess with me. Those, uh, giant centipedes, they will destroy your armor right quick. I mean, we've got all the stuff to repair it. We've got all the stuff to repair it, but the, the, it's, it, they'll really make you have a bad day. Really, really bad. All right, let's see if we can pull this guy. He'll just jump right into the water. And his buddy goes with him. All right. Oh, no, we need this. All right. All right. Now I've got the frog out of my throat. And every once in a while, too, uh, you can find, uh... Oh. Scorpion. Whoa! A whole bunch of scorpions and stuff. Alright, you got this, Butts Bud. Come on, buddy. You got this. got this, buddy.
What, you want to run now? What, you just wanted to fight just a minute ago? Come on. I'll kick your butt. Mr. Stupid Scorpion. Yeah, now you're dead. Stupid. I don't know about this knocked out one down here. Want to pick a fight with me? That was a pretty rough fight. You see how much damage this guy actually takes from my bite attack. It's not much. <laughs> Probably should kept some stim berries. Stim berries are actually very handy when it comes to uh, getting rid of torpor. Like the poison I've been having to deal with inside here. good. Frontal attack so I don't get a ton of torpor while well, this guy's biting me. Probably should have kept those stimberries, huh? Come on. Come on, stop pooping. Come on, let's get out of here. All right. There you go, buddy. Too much torpor. Whoa, that was intense. <laughs> that was pretty insane. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. How many levels have I gained inside here? Oh my gosh. Like six. This is pretty cool adventure. I'm kind of digging it. But I'm not finding any dung beetles, which really, really sucks. That mist sucks. The walls are going to start moving, I know it. There's a spider. There's there's a dung beetle. I see one. Fifteen Megalosaurus. Those guys are mean. All right. Well, let's see if we can lasso this guy. Yeah. All right. We got this guy. It's okay, Mr. Dung Beetle. Oh, come on. Now we have to get this dung beetle 
up to the entrance. There's a scorpion. And I don't want to go too fast. I definitely don't want to tame a dung beetle down by Megalosaurus. Just in case it gets nightfall, he's going to wake up. Because those guys, they're nocturnal. When they're uh, curled around, it means it's daytime out and they're sleeping. But um, when... Uh, Oh, it gets nighttime? They get up, and they get superpowers, which is really rough. Um, yeah, it, they're really, really tough. I mean, they'll take on a Carno in no time flat, and they'll just, yeah, they'll just walk over it. This seems to be a good enough spot. All right, let's just leave him here. Let him diagro. Hey, Mr. Carbo. Still hanging out over here. Mr. Wizard Turtle. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to let this uh, dung beetle diagro, and I'll see you guys in a bit, because it takes a while to get these guys to diagro. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. And we're back. And here he is. And dung beetles are pretty easy tames for the most part. Um, you just have to uh, duck down, keep your distance, but not look like you're keeping your distance. Uh, Crouch down, walk up behind them, and bam. And then make sure you do not touch them. If you touch them, you kind of screw up the tame. So now we're going to wait on this guy to uh, get uh, oh healed up, or wait for him to get hungry. It's going to take a little bit, but this is why we were saving Butt Spud's poop along the way. And wow, Butt Spud, you gained a ton of level. You're 212 now? You were what, 196 when we started? Dude, you rock, man. All right, good job, buddy. All right. Hey, Mr. Turtle. How you doing, buddy? Yeah? Just hanging out? Chilling? All right. All right. No, no, there's nothing to see here, bud. Just turn around and go the other way. All right? No, no, I'm ser serious, bud. It's okay, dude. Just go. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, and he's ready. There we go. So now we got a dung beetle. So we're just going to call this uh, Poo Dude. There we go, Poo Dude. All right, and we're going to have him not follow us because we can't pick him up right now. Normally, see, here, watch. Just throw out him. Normally, you can just pick these guys up. And I could probably um, just take and... Uh... Oh, wow, you've got three levels. All right, well, let's just give you all, all melee damage. All right, this dude is kicking butt. Um, but yeah, now that we've got that guy tamed, I'm just gonna leave him right here. Um, so our, we can run back to base and get Taming Buddy 2 put down on the ground. All right, we're back at the home stretch, and this is a spot where I always get really uh, nervous because I just always get the feeling something bad's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna hop out of one of the trees, and it's just gonna eat me. It's like there's gonna be a T-Rex hidden behind one of these trees, and I'm not gonna be able to see it. And uh, yeah, it's it's gonna eat me, and I'm not gonna have a very nice day. And yeah, it, it's it's not good. <laughs> All right, all right, so let's get over here. Um, Butt Spud actually performed really, really well. I was quite amazed. Um, there's a couple times where I almost killed him. Um, yeah, uh, with uh, Titan Bows and uh, stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, he did really well. Um, even going into the caves, I mean, he's no Sabertooth or anything like that. But, you know, I can knock out uh, beavers, I can knock out uh, trikes, I can knock out spinos. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, jeez. I mean, if that spino wouldn't have ran into the water, I'd know, I, I could have gotten him. Yeah, there, there's no, yeah, there's no doubt about that. My plants are already starting to wig out. All right, so now that we're back, 
Let him poop. And then let's go in here. Let's just throw you down on the ground. Let's grab you. Uh, let's hop off you. Let's grab that. And then let's grab that. And let's see how much weight this dude has. Because he's not very high level. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. All right. So now uh, access inventory. Um, he doesn't have very much weight. But that's all we're going to be pumping on him. For the next little bit. And we're going to put him on Wander. And we're just going to throw poop on him. Because that's what he eats. Alright, and right now he'll hold four medium poops. And I want to make sure I keep the door closed from now on. Unlike when I was out and about. Super duper pooper. What are you doing over there? Come here, bud. Come on. What are you doing over there? Oh, that's right. A Dillo attacked when I was back earlier. That's right. Alright, let's just put you over here. All right, and I, I need to get some sort of uh, outer perimeter guard-like thing going on here. I only needed two, but hey, overachiever, buddy. Overachiever. See, that's the benefit of Super Duper Pooper. He just overachieves. All right, and now we're just going to let this guy, uh, we're going to let Poo Dude wander around inside of here, and we're just going to put poops on him. And uh, yeah, as he uh, gets hungry, as his food goes down, he'll eat. And he'll eat a poop, and he'll give us fertilizer and oil. It's really cool. It's really amazing. Uh, you get a couple of those going on in the background, like three or four of them, and you never need fertilizer. Um, for one player, I would suggest um, having uh, probably about just one or two is enough. Two at the beginning, and then after a while, you only need one. Yeah. Got an extra strong cup of coffee today, and it's really taking effect, so you know what? We're going with it. All right, so now today I've got something planned. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think that uh, maybe it, we've outgrown this little beach base that we've had uh, ever since we started, and ev I told this everybody from the very first beginning. Um, we're going to start off as a beginner's guide. I mean, t this is still a beginner's guide episode. But eventually we're going to segue into a Let's Play, so where it's basically just me going out and doing for science stuff and having fun and then, uh, you know, uh, building up an awesome base and doing wicked cool stuff and taking you guys along for the ride because it's really fun and I like doing that and it's really cool and we include everybody down in the comments and then everybody just has a good day and then Bubba sits back and cheers. Yeah, all right, so that's what's going on. But today, um, today we are going to, uh, um, no, sorry. Sorry about the pike. Um, yeah, sorry about the pike. We had a dillo attack. Um, yeah, earlier, and I had to uh, get out, and I had to, I had to pike me a dillo. Um, so, <laughs> um, I've been passively leveling this guy up for a little bit, not too long. Um, basically, it's the time where the car, the crops have been growing, and I've given him a little bit of stamina. It's not much. Now he is first flyer, and we call him first flyer for a reason. It's because he's not very good. All right, so that's the whole thing with him. He's not very good, but um, we're gonna try to use him to go out and get something better, and also we're gonna go out and look for possible new base locations. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride because as I'm going through and I'm discussing a little bit of the thought process on how to, how I find a good base, you guys are gonna learn, you know, well, I'm, we're, we're gonna discuss a little bit about, you know, uh, the things that I personally look for in finding a new base. Um, and then... Also, we're going to look for a new, awesome, amazing, wicked cool, flyer, something, something, a little something, something. That's what we're going to do, right? 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 You with me on this? Right. All right. Yeah. Bubba, you got it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I whipped out the crossbow. It's just one of those things. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, uh, how much, um, let's see, uh, uh, what, there. All right. So, uh, Pteranodon. Run it on saddle. Let's go with that. All right. So now um, let's go with uh, what does it take to craft it? I don't know why I'm looking in there. It's right here. Uh, Tyrannodon. We need 75 chitin keratin. I don't think we have even nearly enough. So we're going to have to uh, go out and go grab some chitin keratin. Um, oh, I've got 24. Hey, all right. Thanks. How much do I have in here? Hey, 56. All right. Thanks. Um, how much do I have on butt's butt? Hey, all right. Hey, we're swimming in the narcotics now. All right, so we're going to take out Butt Spud. We're going to leave this stuff on you, and then, or take that, and then leave that on you, and then I'm going to 
What's that? I don't need that. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, load up these narcotics. Put them. Yeah, I'll just put them here for now. All right. And then uh, load this stuff over onto Super Duper Pooper, who actually has been a really good base defender um, for some strange reason. So I'm just going to give you some more health, buddy, because you know what? You've been helping out, and you know what? I appreciate the help. So, hey, have some more health. All right? Congratulations. All right. So now um, we're going to uh, we're gonna go out and we're going to go see if we can find some chitin keratin so where we can get this saddle crafted. All right. So if you were chitin keratin, where would you be? Well, you'd be on anything chitinous. So, um, or keratinous. But keratinous isn't a word. So um, we're going to go with chitinous. All right, so we need to go find trikes, uh, turtles, um, bugs, yeah, stuff like that. All right, so let's get up here, and also we can go, you know, see how our, uh, you know, our island is faring against all the dillos that seem to have moved into the area while we're out getting this blue drop over here. Because it's here and we need to get it and it's mine. It's on my island. It, it, I claimed it right when the first thing came down. I don't know if anybody knew that, but you know, I called it and that's just the way things are gonna go. Hey, Refining Forge blueprint. Sweet. All right. Come on, El Butto Spudo. Let's get over and jump the river again. All right. And if we can find some uh, Mega Neuro up here, that would kind of help out. A Meganura, um, some trilobites over by the water. That would be really cool. Trilobites are, they, they help out quite a bit. Oh, hey! Bam! Come on. So when you guys die, put up a flag, okay? There's Dillo. All right, so I'm gonna, let's go get this saddle crafted up if we can avoid this Dillo. What level are you, buddy? 15, you suck. What about you? 25, you suck. Tapajaro over the water? Level five, you really suck. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, craft up this saddle. And then hopefully I don't regret not harvesting up all that hide from the compies over there. All right, so let's get that. Let's get that uh, crafting. I still need fiber. I only have two fiber there. Let me take that. Uh, any more fiber? Yes, thank you. Bam! All right. Uh, let's get this. Stick this over there. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, that um, and then pteranodons they don't have very much weight at all So we are going to clear our inventory of a lot of excess junk before we head out because they can't carry hardly anything And I don't know if we're gonna live or die, but um, it's gonna be fun Maybe all right, so let's stick that on you. How much weight do you have 139 you are horrible all right so, um, yeah, let's, uh, put a little bit of meat on you. You don't have enough room for much. All right, hey, Butts Bud, what do you got on you? Nothing? All right, well, you know what? You carry all of that stuff, and then one of my cro- oh, give me that one back. Give me that one back. And I carry that, and then you can carry that, and then you can carry that. Um, there. Hopefully I've minimized my weight. All right, let's go get a drink. <gasps> Holy, whoa! There's a foo! All right, I've got to get this, get this foo really quick. Let's see. All right, because foos, you have to be like a specter. Here, watch. All right. And I call, oh, where are you going, dude? Where are you going? Dude, I didn't scare you. Where are you going? You're out on the island? Oh, these guys are mischievous in all sorts of different ways. Dude, you swim fast. All right, now watch this. This right here, you have to duck down, and you have to put measure berries in your zero slot. You come up to them, and you stick a berry up their butt. 
and they don't even realize you're there. They just grab the berry and they eat it and they munch it. And it's like one of their favorite things. But I love these guys. These guys are awesome. All right, so now we're gonna follow it a little bit more. All right, Go like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't let them see you either. And if you touch their tail, they'll take off. Yes, thank you. All right, go back the other way. Don't get spooked by Bob. Don't get spooked by Bob. Turn around, turn around. No, don't poop. It's okay if you poop, but don't get spooked by Bob. No, turn around. There you go. Good girl. All right. No, it didn't reset it. All right. That's awesome. Sweet. Dude, take off. If you come try to gank me, if you come try to steal stuff from me, I will kill... Dude. Oh, no. Thank you. All right. I'm on. I'm on. There we go. Almost done. 80%. Are you ready? Are you ready? What? Are you for real? It reset. All right. Oh, there's another one around here. Your mate boosted. Yeah, this one, this time it reset. Oh, there you are. What level are you? Oh, and you're cool looking. You're 85. All right, well, I'm gonna try to get both these guys tamed and I'm gonna be behind them, being a specter, sticking berries up their butt. All right, so I will see you guys in a bit because this is taking a lot longer and stupid Dick the Ornus suck. All right, so I will see you guys in a bit. And this one's mine. Dude, get back here. Dude, dude. They always go wandering off and then they come back. It's like little kids. Yes. All right, come on. Get back here. Um, let's uh, change your name and you are just gonna be Foo. All right. There you go. Let's take a look at stats. Doesn't really matter. And hey, welcome aboard, buddy. Yeah. All right, and then the other one, this is the male. The other one kept running off. Um, over, over here somewhere. Um, yeah, if the Ornus and that one just didn't get along for some strange reason, I'm not sure what. Um, I mean, I got smacked by the two Ithi Ornus while I was taming that one, and then it ran into, uh, the other one, or ran into Bo- That's the one that killed me, or the one that attacked me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's grab, uh, first flyer, take our first foo. Come on, let me get on- There you go, alright. And now, we're gonna head out and about on our first- Glorious adventure out into the wild. Ooh. This is not good. All right, let me take... Let me put that over on my seven slot because that's going to be the primary one. These guys in the area are not good. Um, They don't normally aggro unless you get really close to them, but when they, you do get close to them and they do aggro, they will kick your butt. Yeah, so... uh. There are Xenosaurus, stay away. Whoa, what's going on here? It's like a raptor colony. This trip is going to happen in little stints as we, uh... Oh, Megalodon. Hey, Mr. Sharky. How you doing, bud? All right. Those Megalodons freak me out when uh, you're so low level because you go in the water and you encounter a Megalodon. <laughs> they will eat you up whole. It's pretty cool. That was one of my very first encounters in this game was uh, trying to swim across what I thought was a river and then uh, you got attacked and you know you hear the music and next thing you know you have been killed by a Megalodon. Congratulations! All right. Here, let's get this. We have to keep an eye out for Pego Mastax and other stuff while we're out here as well. 
Hey, I'll take that. Um, I don't need you. Alright. Let's go over here, see what's up here. See, because there's a couple really cool spots for bases. Um, this right here, this right here is the spot where, um, the very first arc trailer, where they, uh, spawn at and they run down the beach, right where the Bronto's walking by, this is it. Alright, this is a really cool spot. And up here is a spot at the beginning of my second season where I built a, uh, little rudimentary shack up here. And this up here, it's a little bit, uh, more advanced, not too much, than the island. It's, it's really not. Um, but it's pretty easy to build up here. The only problem with up here is every once in a while you get raptors and stuff like that that run over here. That's really it. Um, but yeah, and then if you get over here a little bit too close to the, uh, of the swamp that's over there, every once in a while you get boas that come up. Alright, now here's this spot right here. Let me, uh, show you. It's right there on the map, if you're interested. Uh, this is actually a really, really good spot. Um, it's a lot of flat ground right here. Um, it's a lot of these, uh, rocks right here, and you can't bust these rocks. Which, uh, kind of sucks. There's a Tronodon over here. Where level are you? Did you Dude, really? You want to play peekaboo? There you are. All right, what level are you? Probably not very high. Oh, I don't have that turned on. 15, of course. Um, but yeah, this right here is a really, really good spot to build. Um, there's a ton of stone around here. The only problems with this area is the lack of wood. You I mean, you have to go way over here for wood. Or um, there's also um, lack of metal. But there are also the river rocks over here that you can get a whole ton of metal from. Oh, I'm gonna run out of stamina. All right, there's a whole ton of river rocks right here that you can get metal from uh, until you get a little bit higher level. And then there's also um, oh, a spot up here I'll show you in just a sec where you can go get a whole ton of metal. Uh, right up here on this um, hill right up here, there's uh, metal that spawns up here show you right down here yeah on this peak right here see there's a bunch of metal right here and uh, yeah it's just right north of that area yeah it's not too bad you can uh, come up here build a refining forge oh there's a tronodon right there where are you buddy get out of the trees Uh, it looked like 35 or something. So yeah, let's go over here. And these waters right here, it's really deep right here. Uh, so you get all sorts, you get chances of, uh, having two so toothus, which are giant squids. And then, uh, you get, uh, lead sickness down there. You can even have megalodons and stuff like that down there. It's kind of cool though. All right, let's see. What level are you, buddy? 50? Lo oh, two are you guys. All right, what level are you? 40. And there was an, one down here. You're trapped. What level are you? 95. That's kind of a freebie. What level are you? 25. And your mate boosted. So I need to uh, find all of you hidden ones. And uh, this area over here is actually really cool. Um, no carnivores spawn on this island at all none um although there are megalodons and uh rays in the water so if you go in the water expect to get uh ganked but it's really not a big deal as long as you stay out of the water level are you 25, okay. There's a whole bunch of Pelagornis out here. 15. 70. Another one over there. And these guys just spawned in. They just came out of stasis for the first time. So uh, they're just flying into the island. I already saw you, didn't I? Level are you? 70. Okay, what level are you? 35. Okay. And
And these Pelagormas, um, they can actually get really cool colors. Um, you can get forest green on these guys. It's really cool looking. And I, I, I really like that. Uh, green is the best color. And if I could find a, a green Pelagormus, you know, I might just have to tame it. Just for, you know, uh, just for the sake of it being there. Right, let's get some stamina and let's head off here. But yeah, um, here, I was going to show you. There's some uh, metal spawns up here and everything. So, And also there's this little uh, caldera type area right here where you can build and if uh as long as you don't get too close to up here on the edges you can you won't cut off the metal spawns right here there's some metal spawns pretty big ones too what level are you buddy yeah wanna say hi hey how you doing buddy all right what level 55 all right all right and up here um my very first soloing the arc series um this is where i started right here and this was really fun uh, this is before I knew anything about YouTube. I was, you know, I, I still don't know very much, but you know what? Hey, I'm going with it. All right, what level are you? 35. All right. I'm over here. All right, let's see if we can find some Tronodons that are actually worth, level, or worth taming. I haven't found anything over even 100 yet. <gasps> 135. Okay, I found one. All right, so that's good. It looks pretty cool, too. Come on, let's get you knocked out. Come on, buddy. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Let's get away a little bit. Wait for that to wear off. I didn't bring my pike. There we go. Oh, no, no, dude! Jerk. Now I have to wait for him to wake up. All right, let's put some meat on you. Male Toronto, let's just feed you. Give you all this food. And get you to wake up. Let's see if we can get some stim berries going on this guy. Because if I knock him out again, he's just going to uh, run off. Alright, and he got hit pretty bad. So. Alright, I'm going to have to hatchet kill you, dude. Sorry. You ever been whacked apart by a hatchet? Sorry, bud. Alright, so this guy's about to get up. And see, this is the thing. If uh, they're beat up while they're uh, knocked out, it, they'll lose their taming effectiveness. That Dillo really did a number on it. So, I'm going to try it too. Alright, as soon as he uh, wakes up, knock him back out. And let's hope we don't kill him. All right, now he's back out. All right, so that resets his taming effectiveness. All right, so now uh, we need to go out and, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to leave first flyer here, parked up here. Um, maybe not up here. All right, I'll just leave you right here. All right, you can take a beating, right? All right, so now we're going to run out here. We're going to see if we can go find some dodos. Because his torpor is going to be going down pretty fast. Well, not too fast. I mean, I fed him a whole bunch of stim berries to get his uh, torpor down fast earlier. But now, oh, yeah, I see a dodo down here. All right, yeah, we're going to go uh, see if we can get this guy. 
Go get him, buddy. All right. Come on, get that dodo dead and bring him back. There's another one there. All right, drop him, dude. Come on. All right, there's another one over there. All right. Yep, good job, buddy. Come on. Where'd you go? I don't like Pegamastex. Where'd that dodo go? All right, I guess that... All right, so hey, cool. And I'm not going to use a... Uh, um, Oh, Ichthyornis on a Mesopithecus. I'm just not going to do it. I can't kill a foo for prime meat. No. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to get this guy tamed up, and I will see you guys in a bit. See you then. All right. This guy's about to get up. Uh, he's just... Yeah. There he goes. All right. We're just going to call this guy Flyer GTX because he's got the GTX package. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, only 435 stamina, but it's still, like, <laughs> a lot more than what the other one had. But he's got 206 weight, 263 melee damage, 1285 uh, health. You know, he'll do all right. All right, so we're going to take, uh, let's see. Let's take your saddle. I forgot to turn you off, follow. All right, so let's see. All right, let's put a saddle on you. Stop moving. Dude, land. All right. There's a Mesopithecus down there. Hey. All right, so now let's get you on follow. Let's get you somewhere safe so where I can finish exploring a little bit on the uh, GTX model. All right? There you go. All right. That should be fine for now. I mean, every once in a while, you'll see a Carno or a T-Rex or something over here. But it's really not too bad. All right, so back out to explore a little bit. Let's go see what we can see. All right, so, uh, yeah. And also, over here, this is a really cool spot. But every once in a while, you'll see T-Rexes and Carnos and stuff like that. Yeah, right there's a T-Rex. All right, hey. First T-Rex I've seen so far on this playthrough. Wow, I love T-Rexes. <laughs> T-Rexes are awesome. Um, all right, so let's get over here. And there's some really cool spots over here as we get closer um, north towards the Green Beacon. And some raptors over there chasing a... Oh, hey. What are you? 15. Not very cool. All right. Let's land, get a little bit of stamina, and I have to be careful because raptors are everywhere down. Ooh, there's a tapajara over there. What level are you? I can't see you. You're out of distance. There's a raptor coming up to you. Don't eat the foo! Ah, oh, run, foo, run! All right. Let's go see what level this tapajara is. got spooked by something. Dude. You're cool green. 45. Okay. Now, see, there's a Carno right there. See, this right here is actually kind of a cool spot. But the only downfall is there's really... There's not much metal around here. Even out of river rocks. Um, you can come up here... A little bit, but there's really nothing. Oh, Alpha Raptor down there. I want to uh, avoid landing now. Yeah, see right here's the green beacon. This is kind of cool. I was thinking about my new base, the next base that I build, have it somewhere around the green beacon. I was taking a look over on these areas over here. And, you know, the best part about... Yeah, early on in Ark, if you build this in a spot where you don't really like, you can always redo it. 
which is really cool. There's the swamp. And this right here, this would put us close enough to the swamp where we could get resources that we wanted to from there, like uh, wildflowers and uh, um, rare mushrooms, or rare mushrooms and rare flowers. And plus also the dinos that are there, like frogs and stuff like that, because they're really cool. The bezobufos, yeah. And then over here, this this area over here, I was really, really thinking about building over here. This is a really cool spot. All right, and also, there's Carno in there. Uh, this would bring us a little bit closer to um, the Redwoods, because I like the Redwoods. Um, the Redwoods, they have uh, um, Thylacolios in them, and I really, really love Thylacolios. I plan on doing quite a bit, quite a um, bit with Thylacolios, because they are just so fun. But I think I want to come over here, and of course the fog is rolling in as we get up here. Yeah, over here, this is a really nice area as well. Let's see if we can get over here on one charge of stamina. And up there, there's a volcano. The volcano is pretty cool, but you can no longer really build. I mean, you can still build stuff on the side of the volcano, but it's really not worth it because there's not much metal up there anymore. Now, right over here, this is a really, really, really metal-rich spot. And I'm thinking about building somewhere near here. This would be pretty cool. With all this metal, and let me get this XP buff. There we go. All right, and this spot right here, all this metal right here, that's right there on the map once it renders in. Yeah, the sun's starting to set in the distance, and, I, and the fog's rolling in. So I'm probably going to wait up here for a little bit um, until all this passes. But, yeah. All right, so... Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut, and I will see you guys in a bit, but I think somewhere around here is where I might want to build here soon. Yeah, this is a really cool spot, and also we're close to, uh, that mountain over there, which is slowly fading in the nighttime, and then that mountain over there, but that mountain over there, that's Giga Mountain, so Giga spawn over there. All right, nighttime, and I will see you guys in a bit. Another level for me, and level seven levels for you. All right, let's get you some stamina. Yeah, 556 stamina. Not bad. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, early in the morning, and it's raining, and I just sat here all the way through the night. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so let's get up here, and I think... Right here is around here. I've been thinking. I've been thinking. And I think right around here is kind of where I want to build. Like maybe right here. This would be kind of cool. Right here on this edge overlooking this waterfall. Because I like... I mean, I was talking to a couple people on the subscriber server. And they're like, Flager, what is it with you and waterfalls? And I had to say, it's not the waterfall per se. It's the cliff I like. And I really, really enjoy the cliff. I, I, I'm the kind of guy that likes heights. So um, I'm not afraid of heights at all. I, I really enjoy them, actually. Um, they give me a sense of exhilaration, and I enjoy it. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, I think that um, right around here, and also there's beaver dams and stuff down here. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think in the next few episodes, we're going to have to come over and build a first rudimentary base, like right here on this little section right here. And eventually, hopefully, we can build a, uh, oh, a bridge that goes across over here like that and then have another base right across over here because... I like the sound of the waterfall. I mean, I do. I, I, I have to admit, I do like the waterfall. But it's the cliff that is the most appealing thing to me. So, yeah. All right. Well, hey, yeah, I think we uh, found an awesome spot. So, hey, if you guys like this area, if you know of any other areas that you want me to uh, take a look at before I commit fully to uh, building a base, hey, uh, shoot, I mean... Set them down in the comments. I mean, uh, let me know about them. Uh, coordinates. And I'll go take a look. And you know what? 
if we can find a cool spot to build, but I'm thinking that this spot right here is a really good one. It's over on the East Coast. It's over by the uh, Giga Mountain, and because I want something dangerous this uh, season. I mean, we started off in the not dangerous parts. Now I want danger. Yeah. I showed you guys how to uh, begin over on one of the easiest spots. Now I want to step it up about 15 notches and go for far more dangerous areas. Oh, this is a cool cliff right here. Yeah, that's awesome. Today we are taking these guys right here and we are putting them back over here because I don't know, something keeps attacking, things keep wandering by, and then my dodos and my, uh, yeah, the, uh, brain fart. All right, yeah, XP just keeps wandering off. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, let's just put you over there. All right, let's uh, click you. All right, give us some XP to the dodos. Um, all right, butts, bud. All right. And then also, um, this dude, uh, first flyer, keeps wandering off. All right, so let's get you back over here, buddy, and I'm probably going to regret that. There you go. Land. Right there would be perfect, but I have a feeling you're not going to do it. Dude, you did it! You're awesome! Good job! All right, now give us some eggs, okay? All right, so yeah. Um, so today, um, I already went ahead and I learned up, um, let's see, uh, stone, all the stone stuff. Um, the stone foundation, stone walls, stone ceilings, stone door frames, and today, we are going to go out and we're going to see if we can tame us an Argent. I hope. Here's for hoping, all right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to get um, a few things crafted. I will list the resources that we use for this, just so you know. Um, and, yeah. So, once we get... Are those... Are you... What? You stole my narcotics? You stole my dodo eggs? Give me that stuff back. Jerk. Oh, you can't. All right. Arc devs, all right? Um, at least on a Pego Mastax, you can get your crap back. All right? Yeah? You owe me 50 uh, narcotics, wild card, all right? Because, yeah, sometimes um, when they knock it out of your hand, though, it'll be a little item that drops on the ground. This one wasn't. A little painful. Just a little. I'll admit. Stupid Ichthyornis. Oh, that, you were a 145 Dillo? Oh, okay. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna um, go uh, get a few things crafted up. I think I'm gonna take... Bubba, what are you carrying with you? Oh, you've got narco, narco berries. Alright, sweet. Um, I'll take that, and then you can just drop all the rest of this junk. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go craft up a whole bunch of... Uh, um, stuff. Actually, no, I'm gonna take Butts Bud. I like Butts Bud. Butts Bud's e nine. All right, Butts Bud's just faster. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna um go craft up a few stone things. I'll be right back, and I'll probably kick me and Nick the Ornus along the way. Come on, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, ugh. jerk Nick the Ornus. All right, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back. All right. So, uh, yeah, I've um, crafted up, uh, let's see, uh, a whole bunch of uh, pillars, some uh, foundations, uh, dino stone dino gateway, stone dino uh, gate, and then over here on butt sped, I have some other stuff. I had to have him hold it. Um, we're going to have to make two trips up to uh, where we're going. I'm not even sure yet where we're going. Let's, but, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and his... Uh, um, weight is uh not very good so yeah that's why we're making two trips because i loaded originally i loaded everything up on him and i'm like I, i'm not gonna be able to even sit on his back and we made it yay dude just land dude all right <laughs> it's freaking me out there man all right uh so yeah i'm we're gonna take a look see if we can find a nice little argent if not we'll go over to the next over mountain over there um but yeah we're gonna see if we can find a nice level Argent that we can trap and tame and make our buddy. We got over here. No Argents over here? What?
You guys going Argent Free this time of year or something? Huh? Alright, and we're back. And I found one down below, but I'm just going to leave him down there. Uh, he's level 130, and then I saw another one that was 135 down there. And over here at the volcano, it's really easy to uh, find higher level uh, Argents. Um, I mean, you just have to look around quite a bit. Oh, what am I stuck on? Alright. Thank you. Alright, and then now I'm just building this. And the reason why I'm building it like this is so where when we find an Argent, I can just lure it right inside there. And then I can come out and I can close the gate. Or I can just run right through like that and he won't be able to get through here. Hopefully. In theory. Alright. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let's give you a little bit more stamina, buddy. Alright, and then let's hop on you. Come on, dude. Alright, and then we're gonna go get the rest of our stuff and come back and finish that sucker off. Alright, so hey, I will see you guys in a bit. Well, looky what we have there. That will do just nicely. Alright, we have to remember where he's at. Alright, and yeah, I was just flying back with the rest of the stuff. And I was like, you know what, maybe I could find one that's a little bit better than a 130. And, hey, there he is. Alright. <laughs> and this guy right here, um, I'm gonna give him a little bit more health. Just because. Um, so where he can take a little bit more of a beating from an Argent. Alright, right down here is where we're at. Alright, let's see. Okay, so... Um, these... finished up and we're just going four high with these so uh it's seven lines of pillars and it's four ceilings right on top of here all right and yeah and then right here there we go all right and this back right here, you don't really need a ceiling there. Let's open that inward. Alright, so, doesn't look like much, but it should fit an Argent. So let's go see if we can go get that uh, high level dude. Alright, where was he? He was over here. And I want to make sure I have a full load of stamina before I start trying to bring him in. And there's a certain way to lure them in. Ooh. Oh, hey, Allosaurus. What level are you guys? 20, 95, and 90, the alpha was 95, so the rest of you guys are crap. All right, are you the dude? No, you're 45, all right. Are you the dude? Yes, all right, cool. Oh, let's get some stamina. All right, keep an eye on him. Now, we might die. If we die, we die. But, it's going to be fun. All right. Come on, buddy. All right, come on. All right, now on this right here, um, just K mode. And then keep him up a little bit, and then like this. And just keep him just out of Talon's reach where he's constantly aggroing on us. And then we can just take him and lure him all the way over to the pen. All right, come on, buddy. All right, and then we need to change direction, just re-K mode. Come on. There you go, buddy. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Come on. Yeah, I got, I got a spot over here. I swear, it's not a taming pen, not Trank Darts. But it, there might be some prime meat over there for you, buddy. Yeah. Would you like prime meat? Yeah? All right. All right. And yeah, if you just keep him at just at this distance right here, you can pretty much drag him all the way across the island if you wanted to. All right. Don't want to outpace him. No, 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 no. Now we just go get him again. Yeah, there you go. 
Where are you going? Every once in a while, they'll wig out. All right, now we're just going to fly in there and see if we can fly back out. And hopefully this works. Oh, no, he's out. Alright, so let's see if we can get him positioned. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So now he's trapped. Uh, let's see. Can we get him knocked out? Now, I don't want to go for too many headshots here because he's going to be taking a lot of damage. Oh. I at least want to hit him when I shoot. And he can't damage this. Uh, the stone. Which is why we used it. Come on, dude. There you go. I can, I can time it. You like doing that? All right. Holy crap. I was using the wrong. I need to go get him something to eat up then. All right. I will be right back. I was using the wrong dang darts. All right. So, yeah. I will go get something that I can pick up and put in there and feed him. Because he's going to need to eat. All right, let me go see if I can find something. I can't believe he's using the wrong darts. All right, well, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, got an over-raptor here. And he's still really bloody, but I'm just gonna go like this. See if he can kill this over-raptor. There he goes. I dropped the over raptor. Okay, yeah. All right, now. All right, so he killed the over raptor for us. Get this inside of here. All right. Did you eat the over raptor? Yeah. Was it tasty? All right. Oh no, he hasn't eaten it yet. Oh, there you go. All right, you ate the Overraptor. Now let's give you some Trank Darts. We're paying very close attention to the blood on him. We might have to go get another Overraptor. Come on, buddy. Going down very slowly.
Come on. We got this, buddy. I just don't want you dying. All right, Andy's out. All right, so now... Here, let me show you. Now that I get stuck on him. All right, let's take a look at his stats really quick. So pre-tame, this guy is already really amazing. I mean, amazing, amazing. Uh, it was really fortunate that we found this guy just hanging out inside the volcano. All right, and his torpor, it goes down really, really slow. His food actually goes down at about the same rate. So now I'm just going to starve this guy out quite a ways. So where I don't only have to make a few trips out to go get uh, narcotics, which is going to be awesome. I earn a few trips out to get prime meat. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let this guy... Let's see. Prime meat gives him uh, 50 food per prime meat. And I'll do uh, some math and uh, check the dodo decks and then see just how many pieces of prime meat it takes. But, yeah. All right, so I'm going to start this guy out, and I will see you guys in a bit. But this is awesome. I think we just found a super dodo. All right. So, hey, see you guys in a bit. All right, coming in here with the first load of prime meat. I haven't really let him start out too much. Um, I think it's enough for a few, but I started up a campfire down here just where so I could cook some meat because I was running low. But, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, just take all this, and that should be good. All right, come on. Let me get off here. All right, thank you. All right. Let's see. Uh, throw the prime meat on first, and then that. Let's see. How well are you taming? Not too bad. 61.8. Not bad. All right, and this gives me time to go out and get some more prime meat really quick. All right, so now that you... Ha now that... Um, once you have that going, you can't stop. All right, which is why I was holding off on that a little bit. And I have a level. Let's see. Um, let's give you a little bit more melee damage because you weren't hitting very hard. All right, and these Argents over here are a really good source of uh, prime meat. The lower level Argents that I was seeing earlier as I was flying around. There's a Rex. What level Diplo are you? If you're low level, I'll kill you just for the prime. 60, oh, that's not too bad. Let's see, can we get you? These guys have a ton of hit points, so. Come on, buddy. All right, sorry, dude. You gotta, you gotta go. I need the prime. And if I can get this guy dead, it'll be enough prime for the rest of the team. Hopefully. You got this. You got this, Flyer GTX. Come on. There you go. Let's harvest this dude with the spin attack. There we go. All right. So we've got what? Ten prime meat out of that one guy. That's not too bad. That's kind of on the low end for those guys. So, all right, let's get over here. Load this stuff on there. There's a Carno right there. Those are actually really good sources of prime meat as well. All right, but let's get this prime over on this dude. And, yeah, all right. So, I'm going to load it up, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, almost done with the tame, but there's a raptor over there, and he could give us a really hard time. So, I'm going to go get rid of this guy really quick. Um, it be hard for him to actually get over to us, but I don't want to take the chance. Because this tame's like 89%. And, you know what? Let's just let's drive this guy off this edge. Coming? Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's get over here, dude. Come on. Okay, he's fighting uh, Anki now, so uh, yeah, he. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna have a nice day after that. All right, let's get over here, uh, take a look, see how much prime meat we have. Looks like our cook fire's done. There we go, nineteen meat. All right, good stuff. All right, and I'm once I'm done with this. Oh, ninety-seven percent. Hey, and we only lost one level, which sucks because it's one level off of a perfect tame, and I wanted a perfect tame, but you know what? Uh, I guess that'll work. But, uh, yeah, um, he'll be up here in just a few minutes. And, yeah, all right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, last couple seconds. This food's slowly going down. 
Yeah, that Diplodocus was more than more than enough prime meat, but you know what? That that's fine. Hey, and there we go. All right, so we've got a super dodo. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's close this up and then yeah, let's take a one full look. All right, so thirty three fifty eight health. That's really really good for a starting Argent. Uh, stamina twelve hundred. That's amazing. Um, with the, uh, the new, uh, flyer stats, that's an amazing stamina stat. Um, let's see, 704 weight, that's pretty good, 307 melee damage, that's not as good as, uh, some of I've seen, but it it'll do, it'll do nicely. All right, so hey, let's, uh, open up the door and let you out, and I'm just gonna leave this door open for now on. Let me close that back up and open it from the other end. There we go, buddy. All right, come on, Super Dodo. All right, let's see if we can get you following. There you go, buddy. All right, so let's head back to base, and then we're going to have to go out and get this guy a saddle. All right, so hey, um, yeah. Come on, dude. Let's see if we can get you back to base. Are you going to fly very fast at all? Yeah, you are. When you're not on them, they fly pretty fast. But uh, as soon as you get on them, they slow way down. All right. But yeah, this guy right here, he's going to open up a whole new world for us. A whole new world. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys back at base. All right. Coming in here at base. Let's land this dude. Come on. Uh, yeah. All right. So, you following me, buddy? All right. Land. All right. Cool, Super Dodo. And let's go see how much uh, chitin keratin we have. I got 12 on you uh, for that. All right. Because we need chitin keratin for the uh, saddle. Let's see, that's 12. That's 28. That's not going to be enough. Not nearly enough. All right, let's see. Do I have any in you? Nope. Do I have any in you? Nope. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, right here, Argent. Oh, Argent saddle is now 62. All right, there's one level. Let's see. Fortitude. Oh yeah, you didn't think I was just gonna let you guys go like that? No way! I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get go out and get leveled up, and I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right? Uh, let's see. Let's take out Flyer GTX. Come on, buddy. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. There's another level. Let's see. More fortitude. All right. Two more levels to go. All right. Almost done. I've been out here for quite a bit. Let's see. Can I get this Bronto dead? XP buffs are awesome. Just awesome. <laughs> ah, jeez. All right. Uh, come on, dude. Come on. Help us out, buddy. All right. Come on. You know, I don't want this, but you know what? You're in my way of an Argent saddle. You in particular. I'm not sure how, but you know what? I will come up with the nitty-gritty details later. But, yeah. No, no, no. Get back here, buddy. Get back here. All right. And I've been primarily leveling up off uh, trikes and uh, carbos and stuff like that. But I figure since the bronchos were here, I would get stuck in their butt. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing, right? right? Come on. No, 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 no. Not another one. See, this is where bronchos suck is when you get like two and three of them together. And that one's wounded. Are you guys beating up T-Rexes or something? I need to go get some stamina here or something. Oh, there you go. All right. Hey, is that my level? Did I get a level? No. All right, let's go get some stamina real quick. <laughs> oh, man. Almost. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I'm uh, one level off you. And I already got him up to 817 stamina. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Need just a little bit more. XP. Hey, Mr. Bronto, you volunteering, dude? All right, all right, all right. You're already wounded, so, yeah. Let's get you down. Sorry, buddy. It takes forever to kill a Bronto with this dude. I mean, absolutely forever. I mean, not forever forever, but close enough to forever. It seems like forever, all right? <laughs> all right, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna finish this guy off, and then hopefully uh, we have enough chitin keratin to uh, craft up the Argent Saddle. If not, I'm gonna go farm that stuff up and I will see you guys in a bit. 
All right, Argent Saddle crafting up. All right, that's good stuff. Let's come out here, <laughs> get through there, make sure that, I've already had my, uh... oh, there we go. All right, I've already had uh, uh, Poo Dude. Uh, he uh, broke out earlier, so yeah. <laughs> I have to make sure I keep closing the door. All right, saddle on you. That's good stuff, buddy. All right, and you've got four levels. I'm gonna wait to level on you, and let's see, let's get that. And oh yeah, oh yeah. It's slow. It's slow as all hell, but you know what? At least now we actually have a flyer that can pick up a few things. And so let's see, can we actually kill this dude? It's probably gonna hurt quite a bit. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, ah, this is gonna hurt. These guys have a torpor attack, but I don't want you in my front yard anymore. Come on. Ah. Come on. There we go. All right. Now, where's your buddy? There was a second one around here. You're over that way, aren't you? And this guy's got a ton of stamina compared to uh, GTX. All right, here we go. Hey, buddy. Ah. Oh, you got some... See, that's the thing with Therizinos, though. They get some really, really nice colors. All the feathered dinos get just the best colors, like the deepest foresty greens and the nice blues, stuff like that. I really, really dig those colors. So, yeah. All right. Come on. Come on, buddy. You need to cooperate, dude. All right. I'm just trying to kill you. Nothing bad for me. Okay? All right. There you go. All right. That's another level for me. And see, this is the benefit right here of an Argent over Tronodon. You can pick crap up. So yeah, all right. So hey, I think that's gonna do it for the episode. If you liked the episode, if it helped you out, if it uh, helped you uh, be able to go tame an Argent, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo. You take it easy, everyone. Woo, Super Dodo. We made it, dude. Welcome to the team, buddy. How many levels do you have? Nine? All right. Therizina sources are great XP. Oh. Get him, Dodos. Get him. Yeah. Show that dude who's boss. I need to put up a gate. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Whew.